I didn't hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Hello, everyone. How's it going? We are here for the VRC Front Wheel Drive, Real Wheel Driver Punt Fest. We're going to be killing real wheel drivers, but that's not going to be for a while. In the meantime, we've got to uh, we've got to practice a little bit. And it sounds mad, I know. It sounds a bit crazy, but you, you, sometimes you have to practice uh, to, to not come last. I've got the DD girl in the car. We need to swap the wheel rim over here. We've got a setup, and it's Monza. So there's only like there's only like a couple of left hand turns and a few rights, and that's it. Monza's done top notch so hello Paul hello me too ah. <laughs> if you get the alert you want to see some racing <laughs> Simon Taylor now we, we have to have countdowns now people want to people want things to be organised can you believe it I, I don't <laughs> hey Paul Greenwald I like to just get in there but you know people like to Warm, a time to warm up the sim rigs you know when we're doing racing with subs people like to people like to be uh, prepared so they can uh, jump get the, get the wheels on the tables and then uh, jump in right let's get some more laps in here let's see what we can get our times down to get some uh some this on here computers flashing all over the place top of the morning to you hello JR Sim Racing hello Matt Vincennes my chat's spasming all over the place here there we go it's a bit better Paul Smith, I think you saw your countdown. Everyone's got countdowns. I did. I thought your countdown was pretty good. I was actually working on uh, changing some of my OBS stuff whilst I was watching your live stream as well. Shell. <laughs> uh, let's get this on in the background. That'd be nice. Some. Get the right stuff it. There we go. Everything is so small in the distance. That's better. A bit of background music there. I need to get like a music player. There we go sorted Mr. 5 out of 10 eh Night. 5 out of 10 anti-shill anti review OBS stuff that's where all the fun is is OBS stuff I'm going to have to turn the force feed back up here because we're using the big rim this is a th two, 330 mil rim Still, I'm still not very good at front wheel drive cars, I have to say. What did I give 7 out of 10? We're talking about Formula 1. I quite like aspects of the new F1 game. It's still nowhere near as good at driving as, uh, you know, like proper PC sims. But for what it is, it's not too terrible. I need. To, I might turn my brake pressure down here. Paul Smith loves this track. <laughs> you don't want to watch Countdown. It's only three minutes, Simon. And also, the uh, stream starts on the hour, so. If I get the countdown timing right, it's still the stream still starts when it uh, 
at the, you know on the hour so you don't have to like as long as you're there on the hour jobs are good in like there's more like the stream was starts at five countdown starts at 446 456 <laughs> yeah I mean you know we've been getting calls for scheduling stuff the muscle schedule it's almost professional yeah I think F1 2020 if you've not if you kind of like the F1 games but you haven't played one for ages um, there it's, it's a nice one to get into on. I think you really probably have to enjoy the single player aspect of it to justify buying it. I mean, I wouldn't buy it full price personally. This is a 138 hour. How many days is 138 hour? This, this is just a practice at the moment. Just to seeing if I can get my lap time. Dialed in a little bit. It's really hard to feel where the limit is on the brakes. Ah, oh, no, chilly dog. <laughs> I'm hoping next stream will be uh, either playing ACC, AC, or I mean, I think we need to do like an Automobilist 2 stream, to be honest. Racing with subs. Hello, Gromzy. Yeah, well, the, your own team thing is basically exactly the same as uh, the normal career mode, to be honest. Only you have your team name. <laughs> it's basically exactly the same. This is a league race. Hello, Die Phillips. It's a nice, simple track, so we actually stand a chance here. We're going to be punting some real-world drivers, hopefully. <laughs> Take them all out. Soul 0.6, I haven't. I'll have to give that a go. Faster here. No horizon mod? What's that? I mean, look at the graphics here. I, I think AC looks really nice. Uh, don't think you really want to be playing AC on a gamepad. <laughs> God, that was a much better pace through there. Have any of you in chat played ACC with a gamepad? Be interested to see how well that worked. Given that it's on console, you think they'd do more work into that. Oh no! <laughs> I'm always in trouble with the server gods. You like the server gods are like the Greek gods. Yeah. Server gods are Old Testament. Thanks for subscribing, uh, Mr. Killer. Oh, yeah, but Pete, you, you don't have any knees. Hello, Thomas Schmidt. <laughs> I did a I did a video years back playing AC, original AC with a gamepad. Talking about ways of saying it up. Like you can't play it with a gamepad. It's just. You know, it's not ideal, obviously. What's the difference with the new soul? Ah, uh, thanks for subscribing, Izzy. <laughs> Wait, when did you subscribe before I live streamed? You can't thank people for subscribing if they do it before 
before the live stream exists. Oh, look at this. Oh, thanks for subscribing that, MKK. <laughs> Here we go. I, I would uh, file a place with, uh, complaint with trading standards. Personally. This, this car is so slow compared to <laughs> compared to driving the uh, Formula cars recently. I might need to use the bonnet view. Okay, I might have to use this view. Can't really see from the steering wheel view that clearly. The further you sit, the further forward you sit in the car, the more uh, the easier it is to see the car's movements. <laughs> I know. Who hasn't ever done a 138-hour lap race? That's like that's like a week of driving. They should do a race sim. You know how they do like 24 hours of Le Mans? They should do like a, a, a 90 hours of Le Mans and you have three drivers and they all sit in the car and you're not allowed to, to pit. And you have to like, you all, you change like, you, everyone sat in the car all the time and then you have to change driver whilst driving. That'd be amazing. I mean, it'd be terrible, but I think it'd be amazing. really have to break 150 meters or you're missing the corner RV racing oh thank you uh, YD Aiden Mac appreciate that everyone buying stuff with the fan tech affiliate link thank you very much it's uh, paying them bills it's uh, two 20 minute races with uh, the second one's reverse grid the main thing is how many pro drivers can I take out? There's people driving in this that uh, are driving in uh, Real World Mini Challenge and BTCC, I think, and some other stuff. So... You just spent two months rebuilding an RV. I'll be the mechanic. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, well, you'll need toilets, won't you? Just use hot water bottles. This is a VRC league uh, league race. People are playing for this, uh, prizes in this. I don't, I don't get any prizes. I'm just playing to crash into people. I'm just playing to master front wheel drive cars. There has been some physics changes to this vehicle. To be fair, to, I mean, to be honest, Monza is much more in my, uh, as far as racetracks go, Monza is much more in my ballpark. Uh, Daredevil, if you want to save money, CSL Elite, if you want to spend more V3s, both are perfectly fine. Uh, CSL Elite with load cell um, are fine. I, I like them. V3s, um, you've got a few more adjustment options. I know Isaac West, but I appreciate it. <laughs> the world's, everyone's got a bit of brain damage. I mean, imagine tuning into the channel to, to watch me take part in a league race. You must be suffering from severe concussion. Oh, no, you, you'd have to be smooth around that. My steering lock's a bit sensitive. Let's follow behind this guy. I'll have to check. I'm going to check out Arfax too soon, I think, Pete. <laughs> 
<laughs> man can finally trail break. I'll use that as another title. field of view this is probably on like 50 or so 48 not quite sure the car seems to hook up on the throttle this last corner uh, Mons is always a bit of a conundrum to me John Duprins, yeah. I, the problem is you have to have the speed off to get the car to turn in <laughs> to then cut the corner. Portland? Is that, one, is that a real track? Best place to find ACC leagues? I'm not sure. Uh, Kunos Forums, probably. Iseto Corsa Forums. See, it locks up. I might turn the brake pressure down a touch. Locks up at the end of the. Uh... The old brake zone. Lino, hello! I like uh, Sebring in R Factor 2, is really nice. Don't trust Lino, he's, he's a fast Portuguese sim racer. Don't trust him. You can't trust uh, Portuguese sim racers, guys. They, they can drive quickly while suffering from heat stroke. <laughs> what, what's the temperature in Portugal at the moment? Probably, it's probably like 80 degrees. Probably like a pizza oven. You can cook dinner on your, on your head. Oh, I was reading the chat there. That's that was not an optimal place to read the chat. Right, take some fuel out here. How are we doing on this? Two seconds. We should we should be like one second off the pace. Thinking about setup options. What is this? Just randomise the numbers. <laughs> Yeah, just just run, just just click, just bang your head on stuff until something happens. That's what I normally do. I think that's the optimal way of doing everything, to be honest. Right. I need to follow some people around here. Take some more fuel out. Forgot about that. I will. I want to do some dirt too. We'll do it. Try run a bit higher force feedback. Uh, no. I think it's just me. Oh yeah, I was going to set the uh, brake pressure up. That would make it a little bit. Let's go for 86. Pretty much, uh, Chili Dog. Hey, Full House. Well, we just started. We're just uh, qualying at the moment. Okay, we've got these cars. We can follow them around. Perfect. Here we go. Uh, yeah, we will be covering uh, WRC 9. I, can't, I really enjoyed WRC 8. Oh, 
Oh, the car in front of us is slower than us. <laughs> That's not going to help us go faster. <laughs> Game of muscle stalker mode. Stalker shadows of muscle brie. It's actually a lot better with the force feedback turned up higher. Hey, leg laugh. So I'm, I'm really curious with uh, F1 20, 2020 to try the ranked multiplayer mode in it. I think they added the ranked multiplayer to F1 2019 eventually, but I never bothered trying it out. Don't try ranked. Surely uh, the higher you rank, the better it gets, though. Uh, hardware surprises? No, not really. Punt him soccer style. Don't know who it is in front of us. Kelsa. Hello, CC. I like your icon. Race with a three. You, you literally can't turn with the brakes on this because it just induces understeer. You added more lateral load. Whoops. Could have done that faster. Fair VR Gen 2. They, they'll, it, they might announce it at the end of 2020. I'd imagine, I think the new Oculus Rift headset will be 2021, and I think it'll be... I think Oculus are going to focus on doing, um, like, a, like, a quest. Hello, Matthew Bedford. Quest 2, I think, will be their focus. I would imagine. And I, I think Sony will announce a standalone headset maybe a year or two after PS5. Yeah, we'll probably do an ACC and an AMS2 stream soon. I, re I, mean, I really want to do some racing with subscribers soon. Uh, last last week I didn't do many streams because I was doing uh, I was doing some DIY and uh, spending time with family as well. So I feel like I'm a, a week behind racing with subs. That's our bread and butter. Sub sub races are us. I'll uh, do it as an announcement on the uh, like whatever game we're playing so people know uh, they might do ocean spray I haven't covered that much VR stuff so uh, I, I don't know if it would do I I bought the Rift S myself okay there's a that's a bit too much sausage there breaking causes understeer because the fronts are knocking up And it's front-wheel drive car, and uh, the brake bias is probably too far forward. Let's move it back a bit. Yeah, let's move the brake bias even further back. The problem is uh, with the, having the brake bias back uh, really far in this car is when the wheels lock, it has sudden snap oversteer. So the rotation of this car is not that easy to work with. It's better to drive it under the limit. It's not like the Clio Cup in uh, <laughs> Project Cars 2. Get that rotation. I'm, I'm really looking forward to, as I keep saying, Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. Uh, I, I, I'm going to want to play the new Gran Turismo 
on the PlayStation 5 I think might be quite fun to play. Wheel setup video, what with the DD? I should do a wheel setup video for Formula One games, so I won't keep asking for it, but. Just plug all the wheels in. I think third gear through T1. Are you not? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that. I'll try not to stop in the middle of the corner. Are those setup options are locked, uh, Raze. Rise, Raze. Oh, you really have to... Have to break sooner than that. 20-minute race. Two 20-minute races. Reverse grid. Yeah, I think so, Full House. Well, I think that's the thing, isn't it? There's definitely... Weirdly, with the F1 2020... Hello, Radical Sign. There seems to be, like, a load of YouTubers that just do, like, the career mode thing, and they have, they get lots of views on those videos. But, I mean, I'm, personally, I'm not interested in that. It's, it's strange with F1 2020. I think it's just got a lot of people that, like, role-playing Formula 1 with it. You know, they're like, oh, what's it like to drive at this track? In a Formula 1 car, because the Formula 1's on this track in real life, you know, it's so fair enough. So, I, I, if you're like a, you know, if you want to feel what it's like to drive a Formula 1 car, do it in a Seto Corsa, R Factor 2 and what have you. Yeah, I, I, F1 2020 is very much a role-playing game, but uh, the multiplayer races I've done were quite fun just messing around. It's not, the current one, F1 2020 is not frustrating. I wouldn't say it's realistic, but I, I don't find it frustrating to drive. Whereas all the other F1 games, there's always been something about them that's very frustrating to drive, even outside of realism. I'm, I'm always locked down in my sim rig. See that? No, it wasn't faster though. That was on the limit, breaking into that back end step right out. Uh, I, I know what you're saying, Jash Jash. And the, the, so the weird thing I find, so with the with the F1 2020 single player and the whole career mode, would make sense if it was like you can choose to play in easy, medium and hard and that's it. And then you try and win in easy, medium or hard. But you've got like a difficulty slider in that game. So what's weird then is that you... Uh, the difficulty slider negates all the other aspects of the car upgrades and your, everything because the difficulty slider has far more impact on how well or bad you're doing than any of the car upgrade options because it's, it's quite hard to drive a Formula 1 car quickly, consistently for a whole race, you know? So it, it, do, it just doesn't make sense as a game. I mean, and if you're going to put... If you're going to play it on the hardest, hardest difficulty, it's like, it's really hard. I don't think hardly anyone can, will be playing it on 100%, you know. So it, it, it's just strange to me. It's like, what's the point of upgrading your car to be better than the, other, to be better than the AI? Oh, run out of fuel. If if your innate consistency is the biggest issue rather than the actual car setup stuff <laughs> or the game difficulty is the biggest thing you see what i mean it's like 
because of the because of the nature of Formula One cars, it's like well, unless you can drive laps within like three tenths, two tenths consistently, all the other stuff is completely irrelevant. <laughs> Maybe reliability's not. So they kind of just like gloss over that and pretend that it's not an issue, but that seems like a fundamental design problem. Hey, look, I don't have a problem with Project Cars 3. If it works and it's fun, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all for it. I, I think a lot of people are... Uh, I understand why people are frustrated by it, but it doesn't bother me. I'm like, if it if it's actually fun... Because like, I don't care about fuel or tyre wear. I care about racing. I think a lot of people that care about... Tour, mo the people complaining about fuel and tyre wear, I bet you the vast majority of them actually can't drive consistently and it's completely irrelevant to the basic driving i, I would i would say probably 80 percent of the people complaining don't actually know what they're doing with car setups what they're doing with fuel loads or the the they're racing short races where pitting and stuff doesn't even make any difference you know i mean i do think it's bad to take features out of a game and I think it should have had a different name, but that's more of a marketing issue than it is a uh, the game necessarily being bad. That is true, Pete Joe. In the car park, hello, Mr. Blobby. Uh, yeah, the, the tires will just swap over immediately, but like again. Unless you're doing like a 40 minute race, the whole wet tyre, dry tyre strategic aspect is pointless. And even in Project Cars 2, you can't have a slight drizzle like the, uh, and then have it dry out immediately. It, it has to happen in time. So, you know, I, I, I understand why people are annoyed by it, but it's not like there aren't other sims as well that you could do the whole league racing thing in. Yeah, I mean, that's, I just ignore what developers say. <laughs> yeah, it, it does, it's a bit contradictory. I get what you're saying, Alexander EF, but how are you doing? Unless you're like doing league racing, or you're doing 40 minute plus races, 25 minute plus races, it's pretty much irrelevant. And most people don't have time for it. Like, I, I totally think it'd be better. Don't get me wrong. I think this should, you'd really want it as an option, and also. Personally, I don't really care for the car upgrade stuff, and I feel that's kind of contradictory. But I can totally see how it could still work as a game. But if you... The most fun racing we ever have... Um, you know, in terms of jumping a race, would... would Effectively, and it is. We don't do pit stop racing. It's 15, 20, 15 to twenty minute races. Fit setup produces the closest actual racing, and it's like, oh, how many people realistically actually do league racing? Even even in i racing, the vast majority of people, in terms of playing numbers, are just doing skip barber. There's no weather in that. There's no rain in that. There's a little bit of tire temperature variation and stuff, but they're mostly doing 25, 30 minute skip barber races. The, the, the race is starting at six, I think. And again, the skip, the skip barber in iRacing is like the most fun jumping and drive race series. Most people do not have time for league racing. So, I totally get, as in, again, I would love for Project Cars 3 to basically be Project Cars 2 with more features and then have a no pit, like a multiplayer mode that's like a jumping multiplayer mode, then everyone would be happy. And I do think it's bad, generally speaking, for a game that's following on with the same title as a previous ne name game 
to remove features, it's always going to, you know, people are going to feel like they're losing something. Car, car behaviour does change, obviously, with, with the tyres wearing out and fuel wearing out. But look, if, if you're doing if the rate if you're doing 20 minute races or 15 minute races, and the ranking works, and you, if you've got a game there on PC, like basically like GT Sport on PC, but with better physics, and you can join, and I, I don't know if it will work. It could still be crap, but let's assume let's assume it does work. Imagine something with Project Cars 2 physics. And you can basically just join a multiplayer thing. It will put you in a race straight away. And you're like, oh, I've got to try and beat these people. I get some upgrades to my car so I can race in some higher up series as well. And you do a race and you're like, oh, I do another race, do another race. Do a race. It can be really, really addicting and really good fun. I don't think they should have called it Project Cars 3. But that is an idea. It's actually a really good idea. And uh, potentially could be very popular. So, I, you know... That's why I'm not so fussed about it. And the fact that we've got ACC, we've got Assetto Corsa, we, you know, we've got all these other sims and stuff if you want to do league racing. I mean, the, the other, the other iron, ironic thing with the Project Cars 3, getting mad about the Project Cars 3 thing, is that a lot of the PC crowd that are getting mad about Project Cars 3 are um, the same people that said that Project Cars 2 had shit physics and it's crap. So they, they weren't even going to play it anyway. So it's like, well, for those people, they don't even care. Like, they wouldn't have enjoyed Project Cars 3 regardless. <laughs> you know. But if it, random call sign, if the handling, if, if it has actual realistic handling, then it is still a sim. Like the handling still sim at, you know, if, if that's what's going on there. I mean, look, iRacing calls itself a sim and the cars can't be driven on the limit properly, so. <laughs> and, you know, you know what they're, you know what um, SMS are like and Codemasters are like with marketing. I, they do, they do embellish what they're saying and they do, they say things in a way that can obviously be um, misinterpreted in a way that's not the reality. So I'm not defending them. Yeah, no, see, yeah, whoever just typed that message, uh, Alexander, I totally understand now if you're on console, you, you'd you be annoyed because there's no games on console like Project Cars 2. So I'd, I'd be much more annoyed if I was a PS4 player because there's a real lack of sims on PS4 that offer the whole... You know, loads of cars. But shit. <laughs> I'm trying to move out of the way. <laughs> I'm not trying to block. I'm trying to move out of the way. And they need to move the other way. Sorry. Yeah, on PC, there's lots of options. But on console, there isn't. Yeah, they should have called it something else, Dark Child, I think. But, you know. Well, I, the backer argument I don't get. I backed Project Cars One and Project Cars Two, and I, I didn't like. I don't. I wouldn't care. It's like you've got your money back if you back Project Cars One. You, you've got like a uh, hundred quid from it. <laughs> it's like you've been paid off. You've done you. You know, you've got to play the game early. You got a little bit of say in it, and you got money back from it. You can't really complain. Same with Project Cars Two. You buy the game early. You got it. You got it early as a backer. And I, you know. I don't think that's really uh, an argument. How did you turn the lights off? Hey. Eh? <laughs> Paul Smith hates code breakers. <laughs> World War II code breakers. Let's follow this guy around. Strange, but 
no, no, like, like I I'm not saying what they've done is what I would have liked them to have done. But what I am saying is if the end if the end product ends up being fun, then I don't care. <laughs> That's you know. Hello balloons, no we're not starting the race yet, we're just in practice at the moment. Project Cars 5. Which, which light are you on? I'm using a DD wheel. The, the light, it doesn't have bright lights on that. Well, yeah, I, th I think a different name would, would be better. Yeah, random, well, random call sign. Uh, all the companies now apparently just call everything whatever. Like the <laughs> the product. Basically, as a consumer, everyone should just ignore everything developers say and just ju evaluate everything on the product. Basically, that's that's what it is. You you, you can't listen to any marketing on anything. You you just have to go. Well, when it comes out. What, what does it play like? Don't even ignore if it's a sim, an arcade game, whatever. Like, if, has it got light? It doesn't matter. Ignore everything that's said about it. Game, like, and this is what I feel like for all video games and, and just anything, to be honest. Just play it and see what it's like. Don't have any preconceived notion. Base it on what it is. And what's weird is. I think a lot of people base things on what they think it should be rather than what it actually is, even when they're actually playing stuff. I think that really plays out for licensed games. <laughs> like the fact that something, so especially with simulators, the fact that it's, the fact that they believe it's a sim and therefore closer to real life, in many people's minds, is more important than the actual reality of what they're playing. Like. Yeah, <laughs> well, I'm, you know. Don't listen to Game of Muscle. I have to tell you, though, guys, Microsoft Flight Sim, totally amazing. <laughs> amazing. If you like planes. I mean, if you don't like planes. Microsoft Flight Sim, guys, the hype is real. Like, that, that's like 100%. Absolutely amazing. Unbelievable. Anyone know Project Cars 2? Uh, it'll be the same support that Madness Engine has in Project Cars 2. You could, we could do aeroplane racing in... in uh, I don't think he's got Red Bull Air Racing in it. Well, they cancelled that now in real life. We could have a plane race. We could do <laughs> passenger jet racing in Microsoft Flight Sim. How good would that be? Everyone get Microsoft Flight Sim. I, I don't know a date. Sorry, Thomas. I, I, I actually don't know, but I, I wouldn't like to be allowed to say if I did. Don't listen to me. Look, Stuart, just because you don't appreciate weather and ge geography from the air, fly sims are amazing. Hello, Euroditis. Boeing 787. <laughs> we could, Thomas, we could have a race. Um, a380 versus 747. It's going to be about who picks the correct weather route. Oh, bugger my nipples. Oh, Dark Child. GT Sports called the, the real racing simulator. F1 2020 is marketed as a racing simulator. iRacing is marketed as a simulator. There's loads of simulators with terrible physics or missing features, you know. <laughs> Thomas can't wait. <laughs> uh, you can uh, tank, yeah, yeah, it's got like refueling. 
So yeah, technically there is pit stops in Microsoft Flight Sim. <laughs> I'm good far and you get Microsoft Flight Sim. Uh, probably is he. IFR. Well, it depends there, doesn't it? It depends how far it is. You need the uh, jet stream. If you're flying across it, like if the race is across it, uh, you know, over a five hour. Like if you, if the race was from UK to America, you'd need the jet. The jet stream gives you like a 200 mile per hour boost. It might even be more than that. If the wind's blowing in the right direction. Right, how long the race is starting soon? I think. That's how they got that uh, Concord record. With the Concord from London to New York in like four and a half hours, I think it was. What's the jet stream? It's the, uh, there's like uh, wind currents uh, at high altitude. And uh, if you put your plane in them, you save a lot of fuel and a lot of time. F sound. Yeah, you need to get you need to get destroyed at T1. How are we doing here? We're the slowest. Well, we're the slowest that's done a lap, but we're not the slowest out of everyone that's going to be taking part. So it's fine. It's fine. We have got this. We're, and we are faster in the actual race than we are in quality. So uh, yeah, Microsoft Flight Sim. Uh, you can play with a gamepad. They've been demoing it with a gamepad. Uh, that obviously, it plays well with the Xbox 360 controller. So. What do I think? SC2? Oh, Simicube 2. Um, I, I think Fanatec... Well, the Simicube's got better drivers than the Fanatec wheels because you've got the Foundation Force feedback options. But... Uh, I, oh, they're, about, they're pretty similar, to be honest. I, I prefer the, the feel of the Fanatec DD motor. Like, it's less grainy than the uh, AccuForce wheels, but both are they're not that different from each other, to be honest. I didn't. I, that was Izzy, not me. <laughs> My S. I don't have any F1 fans. No one. Uh, no one likes for the Formula One game on my channel. I just play it because I feel like it. <laughs> I'm fully aware. I'm fully aware that it's annoying. At most of my use the user base. Say my user. It's not really my user base. People that watch the channel. I know where most of you guys hate Formula One, but I, I, was, I was enjoying playing it, so I play it. <laughs> it. You know, I'm not gonna get many views from it because I haven't established like an F1 user base of kiddies. Is it difficult to connect custom wheels to Fanatec DD? Uh, yeah, well, you just use the Fanatec hub. But yeah, you, you really the point of a Fanatec DD is it used Fanatec ecosystem. So if you didn't want to use Fanatec ecosystem, you might as well get uh, Simu Cube Two. It'd be better better for you if you're going to use custom wheels. Is it difficult to be bold? Uh, Bermuda Triangle is in Microsoft Flight Sim, yeah, but you know, there's nothing, there's nothing actually crazy about Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> Hello, Rejax Gamer. There's actual, in terms of shipping, in terms of actual real-world shipping locate, like Bermuda Triangle is not a dangerous statistically any worse than any other place. The um, what's the uh, the bottom of Africa? What's it called? Is it uh, the, something? Is it something Horn? What's the bottom part of Africa called? The ocean there. It's got a name. That is actually genuinely a dangerous place to... Like, that is a real-world, actual, genuine Bermuda Triangle. Because you get... Um, you, you, you get a... Um, <laughs> Cape Horn. There's a specific uh, uh, effect that happens from the ocean's greeting there and the currents and the wind systems that cause... Um, uh, uh, mega waves 
rogue waves that literally just sink boats. Like, there's nothing, you can't do anything. You're in your boat, sea's fine, it's a huge wave, and the waves are uh, so steep that they uh, mess boats up. Like, normally a wave has like a, you know, there's a frequency to it, so your boat goes up and down like this. But these irregular frequency waves are like a wall, so the boat snaps. <laughs> Uh, and that's that's underneath uh, Africa. There's a really known place for it, and that's that's a real world, genuine, actual Bermuda Triangle, where you will. But people will avoid it in boats because so many people die. It doesn't happen. In, the Bermuda Triangle thing is actually just a statistical. Um, it's, there's, there's nothing statistically relevant about the Bermuda Triangle compared to other parts of the ocean. I don't know why the Bermuda Triangle got... It was probably, it was probably people just doing tax in, uh, insurance write-offs. Cape Town Triangle. Yeah, the rogue graves are bloody terrifying, guys. I don't... You, you should definitely uh, read about it if you haven't, or watch... Uh, there's probably documentaries on it. There's some really interesting uh, articles on it. Like it's, it's, it's actually just interesting how they occur and, uh, yeah, fascinating stuff. But totally terrifying. Like you can literally just be in a boat and you, that's it, dead. <laughs> All because the because the waves decided to go Jackie Chan on you. What's this stream about? We're just about to do a race. Oh, I think the race is at half past six. The time, <laughs> the time's at the top. We're we're doing this uh, VRC race against uh, real world drivers. I'm going to punt them. They're going to cry, and I'll say, "Get out my driving sims, mate. <laughs> Get back on the real world." So uh, that's what this is about. What do waves have to do with planes? Well, Raf, I'll have you know, waves are actually quite relevant with planes, especially when it comes to uh, gliders. Here's a little known fact that a lot of people don't know about. So you have like uplift uh, thermals from the sun heating up the ground and then the ground causing that to get warm and that causing uh, thermals, so you can use that in a glider. You also have updraft from where wind hits a hillside and bounces up it, which you can use for lift. But also, behind uh, ridges, you actually get waves of turbulence that you can fly from wave to wave in a glider to do cross-country uh, gliding. So, and then obviously it's fluid dynamics. So waves do have a lot to do with flying, I'll have you know. Hello. Can you please refer to it as the Bermuda shape, please? Do not discriminate other. <laughs> Shapes that may feel misrepresented in modern culture. Oh, Thank Karen. you. Thanks, Karen. The Bermuda shape. Condor 2? Is that the gliding game simulator? Well, Mr. Smiley took us out last race we did in this. <laughs> that's not bullshit. That's true, as are. Google it. Google... Uh waves behind mountains for gliding. Uh, Paul Tom, I tend to use my desk for flight sims. Simply Ray, hello. Looking forward to seeing how well you do on track instead of commenting. Uh, just as bad, I'm afraid. <laughs> Guys, um, Simply Race is uh, based in uh, Milton Keynes. Check out their um, centre. They've, they've got a bunch of rigs set up. If you wanted to try rigs out, They've also got like a pro sim set up there as well. Um, after the whole COVID, ah, oh, demonetized channel deleted. <laughs> after the whole <coughs> situation, um, I'm sure they'll be opening up again. Check it out if you're in if you're near Milton Keynes. It's hard to find sim rigs to test equipment out. Si uh, what what equipment have you got there, Simply Race? I think you told me before, but. Can take one home. Yeah, I mean, if you want to get arrested. Are oh, they still open? You just have to wear a face mask. Uh, 
Uh, what car am I driving? It's, um, I think it's like an Audi. I don't know. It's, these, these aren't, um, they're based on BTCC cars, but they're not. Blitzkrieg, hello. <laughs> hello, Sydney. Good day, mate. What are you doing up at this time? It must be like really early in the morning for you or really late at night. Right, that's not that great point. I need to follow someone around here. Yeah, it's still a private car mod. Got immunity now, yeah. Ah, there you go. Yeah, so that's awesome. If, you, if you're Neil Mil Milton Keynes, if you ever wanted to try a DD wheel out, hit up Simply Race. Melbourne's so much better than Sydney. Uh, I think it's uh, six or six thirty. I might. I need to. I know. Quali. Quali's at six, and the race is six thirty. I believe. <laughs> Unless I've got myself very confused. I simply race will know what what times the race start at. Ah, oh, well, should, people should wear masks indoors. No one's wearing masks indoors in the UK. Everyone. Everyone should. The government needs to mandate it and then everyone will and then it will actually make sense but you know British government's about as effective as a concrete slab so you know there you go 6.30 quality then race so we've got 30 minutes I might have a little bathroom break and get a fresh cup of tea uh, well if, if anyone wants to become a channel member I will sing the DD Gill song that's how that works <laughs> thanks Pete I think we'll be all right. I've installed spikes on the back of my car and I've uh, loaded up the boot with uh, DD wheels so we can't get punted. Yeah, it's like BTCC basically, it's touring cars. Oh, it's uh, Smithy, uh, this, this guy uh, is driving in the uh, mini real life uh, mini cup. I was just chatting to him. He said they're starting up at, um, their next race at, in Donning at Donington in real life. You always miss the obnoxious... Ah, oh, the obnoxious fireworks over Big Ben. Forgot about that. We'll we can bring them back at some point. Yeah, uh, Rejax Gamer, are you on, on about the game or the real world? Yeah, no, I'm, this track makes a lot more sense to me. Simply Race promised me that he would uh, put ballast on everyone apart from me. I hope he wasn't lying. Uh, yeah, F1 2020 seems all right. I, I mean, personally, I wouldn't buy it for full, like, 40 quid or whatever they want to sell it at. But out of all the F1 games I've played, it's like not annoying just you know if you want to drive a formula one car play ac or r factor 2 but you know if you want to do like the whole role playing f1 sort of thing um especially if you want to race against ai and do like a season type thing it's that is the ai is actually pretty good in it like not not even kidding like the ai's attacks you nicely defends nicely compared to other games ai i'd say the ai is probably like the best part of that game But yeah, if you if you compared to AC and the the Sims, it's not even like within you know it's, it's <laughs> if if AC was ten out of ten handling and physics and force feedback, the Formula the Code Master Formula One games are like five four out of ten. And uh, no central scrutinising. This is just AC sole content. It's just the time of day, probably. It's got the new Zandvoort in it, in uh, F F120. We need to break earlier. Right, I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to pop to, pop to bathroom, get a cup of tea as well. 100 likes per hour. Thank you. Thanks for clicking like. I didn't even tell anyone to click like, but appreciate that, guys. <laughs> 100 likes from a name chat. Well, now, now I get a cup of tea. We're going to lose like 50 viewers and uh, that's it. Stream ended. You're not allowed to, you're not allowed to go to the loo or make cups of tea whilst live streaming. I've discovered this. It's like 
punishable by death. <laughs> but I've got, I've got to. I've got to. I, I, I can't pee in my sim rig. But uh, thank you, guys. Tea time go wild. I'll see you guys in a minute. Refreshments for me. A BRB screen. Let's BRB screen it. Oh, no, the chat box doesn't work. Okay, let's not do it. Hello. Got myself a non alcoholic beer. Living like a champ. A tasty Java fun. Oh, this is German beer, Abgefahren. This is a uh, Patronus Pat Pat Patronus tire beer. Uh, is this legal? I don't know if I can. Le I'm, I don't know if I'm breaking YouTube rules doing this. Look, Weiser beer, alcohol free and bitter. Oh yeah, premium Weiser beer. Oh patronus. Oh yeah, yeah, that is good, yeah. Oh, get my muscle. Ich bin toll, yeah. Ha ha. Oh yeah. Premium Weiser beer. Yeah, that's probably offensive. Sorry, guys. Can't help it. It's born that way. Patronus tire beer. I wonder if you um what would happen if you mixed um hot chocolate with beer? Would that be alright? <laughs> wow. Nine dash is this so good. <laughs> 
<laughs> I found out today that Germans, when when Germans say something's cool, and they're, they're like, oh, that was cool, or that was really good, they say, oh, yeah, das ist, das, das, das was Hammer. <laughs> Hammer. <laughs> Hammer. Oh, yeah. Okay, my muscle is Hammer. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> what is that about? We say Hammer to mean cool. I don't make any sense. Hammer. <laughs> what? What is that's the hammer? <laughs> what? What a lap! <laughs> hammer. <laughs> don't make any sense. I was laughing to myself for like half an hour. I messaged the German person. I know. I was like, I was like, is this, is this right? Because <laughs> this is mental. <laughs> Your channel is the hammer. Oh Christ! I'm telling you, German guys, best-looking women, best language. Okay, maybe no. Okay, take that back. Eastern Belarusian women are probably the best. Okay. German men have the best mustaches, though. No, and I, I wasn't. <laughs> Come to think of it, that that probably probably thought of a different German man. I mean the actual German people now. I don't mean famous historical German men. Right, come on. Danke bitte. I need a hammer. I need a hammer icon. Yeah, you know like a uh, top moustache cross. That's actually quite quite popular in Germany. You haven't really seen that much in the UK. Ow. It's, it's non-alcoholic. I don't, I don't drink alcohol. Since since that um, German... Uh, that, that mobile phone game... Uh, the, the, the MMO trip in Germany, I, I vouch never to drink alcohol again. Uh, that was it. That was the last time I'm, ever, I'm getting drunk. And that was, what, like six months ago? Even when there's free alcohol, I'm not drinking now. <laughs> put, put an end to it. It's hard not to drink when people are like, oh, here's nice German beer for free. Yeah. In, in Salah. In, in, what, did they, what did they say? Salah. Peace, peace be upon him. Free fry beer? What's that? Right. It will make you too much faster. Hello, uh, Kip01 NL. Are you in New Zealand? New Zealand's tuning in at 6 p.m. What are you guys doing? I'm really wanting to go to. Um, I've never been to Berlin, and I really want to go to Berlin. I want to go to. There's loads of really awesome museums in Berlin. Mishala. <laughs> Sorry, this stream is not halal at the moment. It's hard to keep a stream both pure, <laughs> Catholic pure, Jewish, uh, uh, what's the Jewish kosher, and halal. It's, it's very difficult to uh, like, appe appease all the religions. Germany is basically Turkey. Four AM. What are you doing up at this time? Appreciate you. Hello, uh, Darren. Appreciate the people from around the world tuning in. You, you guys are mental. British accent export exporting going on here. You're your own religion. With a cult, I've started the cult of Wi-Fi in F1 2020. 
it's the only religion where you get a direct connection. Of 5G connection. Schweins? Schweins Hex? It's random call sign there. What What was the non-alcoholic beer we were having in uh, the Sim Racing Expo? That's a big sausage there. I don't know any Polish. I, I could do a learning some Polish. Bit Bit Burger. <laughs> that that wasn't too bad. The the problem with non-alcoholic beer is it tastes a bit soapy. Thanks, Bryden Keeve. It tends to taste a bit soapy. Do I done that's it's hard to get non-alcoholic beers that actually taste bitter. But this this one is the best that this Patronus beer is the best one I've had. Unsurprisingly, from Lidl, li li everything from Lidl is pretty much perfect, let's be real. Uh, I, I've been updating Windows, I haven't had any problems with it. It's probably safe. I sound posh. I, I'm like middle class. Yeah, middle class, <laughs> not posh. You should hear what my friends from uh, <laughs> from like Oxfordshire and stuff sound like. Man, that's that's posh. You can't be from the Midlands and sound posh. Ultra posh individual. <laughs> I say, welcome back to the channel, chaps. It's a rather spiffing race that we're taking part in here. What oh, tiddly bop. Round the final corner. Sound more northern. Why why has your mum got a new job in Ashby de la Zouche? <laughs> why is like half the chat room from Ashby? Wouldn't it be ironic if your mum your mum's job was uh, floor polishing? Mm. Brother, Brother Keeve, thank you for subscribing. Bro Brood and Keeve, appreciate that. Oh, I don't think I will win. Jewel wearing pig farmer. I would farm pigs. Pigs are awesome animals. Pigs are, pigs are like dogs. Absolutely awesome animals. Ah, uh, Pete Jarum, I forgot about your Loughborough heritage. Have you have you been to Loughborough Uni, Pete? Do a sports degree with your broken knees. <laughs> I, I know Loughborough well. Oh no, Scooby G's in the. Uh... Leicester! Leicester! Scooby G's in the city where they uh, tarmac over kings. Build car parks over kings. God, that's, they probably should have just left him car parked over. It would have preserved the uh, skeleton wall. Did you just live near the Dartford Crossing? That'd do. That'd do. Pete, was it in Loughborough Uni Students Union? I hope they've uh, updated that. What with students now having to pay like a quarter of a million pounds to do a degree in something useless, I hope the Loughborough Student Unions improved from what it was because it was pretty piss poor when I went there. Uh, Leicester's all right, you know. I used to frequent the uh, roller Leicester roller disco, and uh, back in the nineties, Laser Quest. They've got uh, the Computer Museum in Leicester. It's pretty good. Uh, 
They had a really good laser quest centre. Um, they had an ice rink. Um, virtuality was was based in Leicester. The first uh, arcade VR headsets. Uh, you know, Leicester had a lot going for it. You know. Middlesbrough was alright. <laughs> Nothing wrong with Middlesbrough. Uh, you know, you know, with the uh, Dartford Crossing, now you only get two days before they find you. They give you one warning uh, and a half price fine, but it used to be like a week. Now it's all like uh, totally, totally automated. If you're a local, you get like a Dartford pass thing. Right, Bryden. Right, let's let this guy go past and we'll follow him round. Mr. Whittlehead. Right, let's see what he does. Whitehead, not Whittlehead. Oh, my gear shifting wasn't good there. You can get out of Leicester quite easily, and you've got Derby, Leicester, Derby. Hang on, my brakes do not work as well as his. Maybe I, maybe I have to keep the brake pressure on higher. <laughs> I couldn't even make that corner if I broke where he broke. I'm just going in a straight line. Okay, let's chuck it in there. Okay. It's got a canal going through Leicester. You just walk along there and you're in the countryside. Sorted. I've already moved the brake bars pretty far back. Let's let this guy go past. Most people to get get out of Leicester. Are they are they back in a lockdown situation there? A lot of people drown in the canal <laughs> every year. to improve our line through there. I was both drafting him. Didn't really help him though. These cars are actually really, really wide. <laughs> These cars have got a lot of girth on them. Yeah, we're not, we, we, I need to increase brake pressure. The car's not even locking up there. The problem is, Then locks up easy on the other corners. Let's go for like, let's go for 93. This is a uh, Assetto Corsa. Uh, Richard B, I think you're mistaken. That's just the police shooting anyone that's slightly brown. You, you've got mixed up there. The uh, British police force actually have a. Uh, a, like a paint chart with the uh, colours on it, and if you if you're unfortunate enough to have a skin colour slightly darker than the mid part, they shoot you because uh, there's no racism in the UK, obviously. Uh, 
Uh, right. Go. You have the game set to F1 2020 in the description. Oh, no. Man. <laughs> Especially true in America. If you if you ever have friends that are even mildly darker skin tone and you're in a car with them, you get pulled over more often than if you're with friends that are, uh, that are pale and pasty. <laughs> so you know, it's not even a meme. It's, it's, it's just it's the reality. Kidnap Jimmy. We should we could kid, kidnap Jimmy. I'm trying to. I, I'm. Only, I'm slowing Crawley Rich. I need to speed things up. No, I quite like Leicester. Uh, I say I used to go there a lot as a kid. I'm, Bloody amazing! Uh, there's like the the Asian area of Leicester. Bloody amazing Indian restaurants there. Uh, what's the place near um, Heathrow Airport? Has a lot of uh, like a really big uh, Asian Indian community. Um, absolutely amazing restaurants as well. There's a lot of uh, Muslims around uh, Heathrow Airport. So just a big uh, multicultural area. Hounslow. You're trying the Cooper challenge. <laughs> flip that car. How do you flip a Cooper? Come on. You've got to get that in without clipping the curbing. I know, I, someone just mentioned that in the chat room. The Al Alonso's kicking out um, Vettel. Vettel removed. Hello, Boom and Bom uh, Bomber Man. Oh, man, that makes me want to play the. Oh, that's better. Now the car's breaking. That makes me uh, want to play the Bomber Man games. Um, yeah, goodbye Vettel. But I mean, Vettel's been driving crap for like ages now. Which, you know, oh, which is weird because he is a. I think he's a talented driver, and it just seems I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. I get the impression with Vettel, there's some like shenanigans going on behind the scenes that are not helping. Yeah, well, we'll see. Maybe it is just made up. Do you know, um, <laughs> Leicester, back on the topic of Leicester, the army surplus shop <laughs> in the centre, the opposite near where HMV was. I don't know if HMV is still there. Leicester's a weird place. I racing cheating confirmed. What's that about? T1 in third gear. Zanardi's coming back. Was that a joke? Was that a poor taste joke? <laughs> I can never tell with chat. I don't know what's going on half the time. 
Yeah, well... We have to stay in higher gears. Uh, well, you can hack in any game. It's just a case of if you want to, really, isn't it? I mean, I, I never really understood cheating in, like... like other than to troll, or if you're a programmer and you wanted to test out your coding if you get caught or something, or may maybe to make money from selling them, I don't understand why people legitimately play games and cheat. It's like, what, what, what's the point? Like, how is that fun? Because when you win, it's like you won because you cheated. Let's try and lay down an okay lap. Quali's starting in a minute. <laughs> Always do awful in quali and then do okay in the race. So the better we can do in quali, probably like five places, six places up in the race. Third gear, I keep forgetting. Third gear through T1. Hello, Jeff. My name's Jeff. Did you find a capture card, Jeff? But guys, Jeff's trying to copy my uh, my setup. He, he hasn't realised that the more you copy me, the worse you get at driving. Poor guy. I actually drive with a gamepad. Oh, how much how much was that going for? I'm using the Elgato uh, 60S for my camera, but you, you don't need that. Like, there's a uh, cam link. Just go to Epox Vox's YouTube channel and uh, type in YouTube cam link alternatives, and there's a couple of them that are perfectly fine. But. I know Camlink definitely works, and I know the Elgato 60S definitely works well, but they're both quite expensive. Oh, that's a good price for it. Shame you didn't win it. Grippy! Uh, this mod's not public yet. It's a private mod at the moment. Yeah, ca uh, HD 60S for a camera is probably worth about 100, 120 quid, 130 quid would be fair enough. Bid price. Right, qualifying begins, guys. Oh, let's get out on track and follow these guys that know what they're doing. Here we go! Das Rassen beginning, bitte. Oh, nice one, is he? Why, why are you obsessed with Black Magic? And uh, did Black Magic do the uh, no red epic red and stuff? <laughs> das Quali beginning. Oh yeah. Thank you, Mitter. Ah, I want to learn German. German but it is the best language. Let's be real. Sun's come out here. Look at this sky as well. What are you going to be capturing, Izzy? Oh, fair enough. Oh, you got one of those, uh, those little black magic cameras. I say little. These are uh, touring cars. It's a private mod for this uh, league. So we're racing against some real world touring car drivers and uh, yeah British British touring car I did GCSE German and failed it <laughs> I didn't really want to do it I mean GCSEs were a waste of time I'm going to be a right annoying ass. 
Get ready for annoying arse muscle. We're going to follow this car. I think I need to use the dash lights for shifting rather than the... Uh... Rather than the uh, thing at the top. <laughs> Pete Jam just killed Tortellini. Oh no, the car in front is slow! Third gear through T1. Why do I keep going second? What is wrong with me? Ich bin ein gaming strudel. Strumpf. Oh my god, I chose the worst car to follow. <laughs> trying to go to war with him. Edge of the track. Nerdier things. I'm playing on a PC 2080i AMD Ryzen. Well, welcome everyone to the channel. I really appreciate you guys all tuning in. We've got shitloads of people watching. It's surprised really appreciate your uh, deciding to spend your Tuesday with a bold git in a driving simulator <laughs> thank you for all smashing that like button as well DD girl appreciates it she's loving it her DD leg motors are rotating at 14 newton meters she's excited Uh, we're too, we can't be demonetised. Too good. I don't think we are phantom. I think people have accidentally just banged their head on the keyboard and loaded up this channel. <laughs> Here we go. That was a banker lap. That's puts it in fit. What? With fit. Right, fourth gear. No, we do have to go to third gear. third gear but we need to carry the speed through <laughs> Abergavarin was drunk on non-alcoholic beer bless him to be fair there's a lot of sugar in non-alcoholic beer still or carbs which is sugar getting drunk on carbs to make the chat room on the screen. Target is top ten. I'll be happy with that. It's still beer. Well, what would you call it? It's got... Um, it's fermented. I, I guess they just... Um, Pasteurise the alcohol out of it, I'd have thought. Or they... I don't know, I guess you could use a yeast that doesn't produce much alcohol. <laughs> thanks, thanks for that meme random call sign. Edward, if it depends how late it is. It would be good to do some AC racing with subs afterwards. I have missed doing... I do like racing with subs. It's been...
been a while. Oh, oh that was better. Faster here. Anderson Sholomir, how's it going, man? Welcome back, dude. We have a lot of Germ we have a lot of Germans. <laughs> I think we just need to turn into a German channel here. Ah oh, fourth we should have gone into fourth. I know, that's the problem with beer. If you guys had to choose between France, bugging me nipples, I'll slow there. France, Germany, Belgium, Holland, or Netherlands, which country would you pick? Oh, let's start. Germany versus France. Where would you rather live? Germany or France? Yeah. <laughs> Germany's winning out. <laughs> I think... Uh, what about... But what if it was like South... Yeah, that's the thing. South of France, guys. Oh, man. I'm telling you. Vineyard. South of France, Vineyard. That is peak life. I'm sorry. I guess I'd have to specify where in Germany and where in France. The thing with rural Germany is it's, it's, it's very rural. <laughs> Always enjoyed uh, French, French and German people. I like how strict Germans come across. <laughs> Bugatti. Outfit. Oh yes. Living in the Alps. But it does get really annoying in the, if you if you if you're ever in the Alps and you have to and it's winter and you have to get something you have to get the uh, chain tires out and then you have to go up and down bloody hills for ages like <laughs> backwards and forwards. I mean, if you've got a rally car, you're all right. What? Okay. What if you had to choose between Spain, Spain and Portugal? You can get a, if you buy a Spanish house over two hundred thousand pounds, you get a, you get a, a Spanish house, a Portuguese house. You get a green card. So you have to spend. I think it's, it might be one hundred and seventy thousand pounds. You can get a, you can get a Portuguese. Uh, I hate Billy Straight. <laughs> Not yet. We're just doing quality. I go fast, past that because he's. Uh... Oh, we should follow this guy. Ah, oh, do not have enough fuel, bugger! I'm perfect to follow this guy around the track here. Use the draft and get a good line. Well, we'll follow him as much as we can. The only thing I don't like about Portugal is everyone seems to wear those weird, thick black glasses. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why those glasses are so popular in Portugal. Wow, 
I'll try and follow him, but... Oh, he's going to go in the pit, isn't he? No. Go right. Go on. Type in Portuguese girls on, on uh, YouTube images, Google images, and I bet you half of them are wearing those black glasses. Raisins. Yeah, you need to not go to the parts of Spain where the English have ruined it. Uh, English people, they, those parts of Spain where the English have not holidayed it, are the worst. They're the worst people. the armco thick legs <laughs> who's got thick legs I've got a thick left leg from from uh, using the load cell brake right let's park it up we're not last we're, we're doing a bit better here right let's just uh, right oh It's going to be interesting. Your Spanish, to be honest, go to Portugal is better. So Portugal, why do people prefer Portugal to Spain? What, why, what's happened there? I thought the Portuguese and Spanish hated each other. I thought it was like uh, English and Scottish. Yeah. I don't disagree with you, Gaiden. Canada versus well, connect. Canada's. Uh, I go for Canada. It's too cold. It's too many mosquitoes, and it's too cold in the winter. We've got five minutes left of quality here. <laughs> I don't know what well, I don't know what site you were googling on then. I the the uh, English and Scottish don't really hate each other. It's just like a meme. I mean, maybe the idiots do, but all the Scottish people I know are awesome. So I always get on great with Scottish, but also uh, I find. People in the north of England are a lot more seemingly more friendly than people in the south of England. Having lived in all of UK, uh, South, Midlands, North, I, mean, I haven't lived in Scotland, but I've been there a few times, been to Edinburgh a few times, which isn't really, Edinburgh's like London, it's quite, you know, it's just a diverse city. It's, but I've, I've been to Glasgow and uh, that's, that's proper Scotland. <laughs> um, Scottish people are super, super friendly. I like Scotland. Like, they seem way more friendly. People in Newcastle and Middlesbrough actually just seem way more friendly than people in the south of England in like most Kent places, Canterbury, London. You're not allowed to look at people in London. <laughs> Nicola Sturgeon's a, a ledge. I don't think she hates men. Nicola Sturgeon's a, a pretty decent politician, to be honest. She's got her head screwed on. Could do with more politicians like that. I don't necessarily agree with all her policies, but at least she, at least she can talk coherently. <laughs> a legend. She probably isn't. Uh, as I say, a brick is better than our current British government, so... <laughs> Here we go. Northern Spain's good. <laughs> well, it should be some questions should never be asked. Go! 
Uh, I, f I find Irish people super friendly as well. I just think it's London. London just makes people really, like, miserable. Although, weirdly, so... Londoners are like miserable bastards. <laughs> but people that just happen to be working in London or uh, on holiday or just passing through are normally really chill and, and nice. And obviously, a lot of London is people just passing through. I mean, I've, I've genuinely like been surprised by how friendly some people are in London. Like on, on the tube, just chatting to some people. And they're just super nice. For no real reason. But they're not Londoners, they're just <laughs> people that happen to be in London. Yeah, it's too many people. Well, not at the moment. London, ah, oh, here comes Jeff, London Defence Force. <laughs> London, you, you live in, you live in Edinburgh, Jeff. You don't, you're not a Londoner. Londoners are miserable. Life is what you make it, and Londoners make it miserable. <laughs> I mean, I'd be, I'd be annoyed if I lived in London. You get annoyed by all the tourists being slow on the escalators and not knowing how to use the Oyster card stuff. It'd drive you mental, it chips away at you. But if you don't live in London, that kind of, you, you know, that kind of thing doesn't bother you. Londoners are always in a bloody rush to get to their office job. To sell PPI to people. No, Jeff, that's just, that's just the average age of uh, the viewers of this channel. We've all got wrinkles. It's not frowning, it's just old age. Look, you, you, can't, you can't go against Pete Jarum, Jeff. He's got the knees. His, his knees were fine until he lived in London. French, French aren't miserable. They could just, it, it could just come across that way. But that's just like a a cultural thing. They're not actually miserable. <laughs> London, I do quite like aspects of London, though. I just wouldn't want to live in the centre of London. Yeah, I'd imagine like American cities would be really. American cities would really take the toll on my mental health. Like, London has nothing compared to, like, uh, uh, American cities. <laughs> Great for the elbows. <laughs> it depends how, it depends how, uh, how uh, if you try and catch an old London bus by the uh, rear door pole. That's bad for your elbows. You say that random call sign, they've still got the death penalty in Japan. Oh, that's it. Quan is over. We 15th out of 20, it's all right. Off to the race we go. 20 minute first race, guys. Now, I was saying in the other stream, London's really great as a place to uh, visit as well. And it's good. I think it's really good as a city if you're young, especially. But I think as you get older and if you spend more time in the centre, you'll get mental. How much fuel do we need? 2.1 litres a lap. Uh, two minute laps. Thirty five litres should do it, shouldn't it? Thirty five litres should be plenty. Do I need to go on voice chat here? Yeah? 
time he tried to screw me over. Grr. Uh, how much fuel do I need, guys? <laughs> it depends how much weight you got in your car. Just me and my tea bags. Well, I've got 32 and I've got 150 kilogram. So, less than that, but I don't know by how much. That's fine. Thank you. Good luck, guys. Have fun. That I do. <laughs> 25 litres. Right, we're fine. Enough to get to the end. Thanks for that. Here we go, guys. Real drivers. Let's kill them. <laughs> Hello, Kraken. It's happening, guys. Click that like button. Also, check out Virtual Reality Racing Club. Uh, their website is linked underneath the video, which should be. They do driver training and stuff if, you, if you're looking for real-world driver training. Oh, I should keep this unmuted. Rich, did I give you that poll then? Everybody become a channel member. Hello, Tim Musley. Guys, nice. check out Tim. Post a link to Tim Musley's right. channel uh, <laughs> mods. Actually, let's make T a mod. <laughs> Nearly banned you from the channel back, didn't there? There you go. Perfect. I haven't seen yet. Uh, which one are we starting on? Uh. Had some serious tour. <laughs> the wrong sort of tour as well. Okay, I think I just keep pressing start. I don't know which one we're starting on. It'll be on the hour that it goes normally. I've got to have a sip of tea. Starting on this one. No. <laughs> Spicy stuff. Yeah, T one's gonna be an absolute disaster with this, but I ain't got anything to lose here. I'm not a real race driver. I mean I could lose I could lose uh, pride and dignity, but I haven't got any to lose, so it's alright. I hope I'm not too much faster. Uh, beat there some uh, BTCC drivers and uh, mini, mini. Uh, is it called mini challenge or mini cup? Mini cup. Talk just uh, some real world touring car drivers. Um, I don't know the, the names. <laughs> That's how much I follow British motorsport. I've, I've proper gone out of the loop. I need to get back into it. Yeah. Thanks for subscribing, Rafael Casa. See some of the driver names here. No, Jason Plato. Uh, I don't think he likes simulators. Appreciate everyone clicking the like button. I can't believe how many people are watching today. It's, what's going on? <laughs> it surprises me. Thanks, JR Sim Racing. Yeah, well, ACC's got a really uh, bland tyre model, so binary input on that is probably all right. <laughs> I was playing with like... That's why my uh, no steer rotation works. I enjoy playing it. Don't get me wrong, guys. But, uh, yeah, I think that's why my super sensitive steering works well with ACC, so I'm not surprised that keyboard is passable. But to be honest, if you design the keyboard input with like the correct stuff so you can just tap keys, you should be able to get it to work with any sim. I mean, I used to play Toka 2 with a keyboard. I used to play GTR, GTR 2 I, I played with a keyboard to start with. And 
Okay, quick, quick change of setup. Uh, and I played Xbox 360 with GTR 2. Uh, I used to play Conor McRae Rally with a keyboard. It's hard. To, the gear shifting thing's difficult with a keyboard. It's easier to use two, your two separate hands with the gear shifting separate and the accelerate in a different place. So you can push multiple things at the same time. Stop playing Step Mania. Okay, I think... Uh, well, it might be not the next one, but the one after I think we'll be going. This is going to be total carnage. So it's a 20-minute race uh, to begin with. And then it's a reverse grid 20-minute 20, 20 race. Uh, that was to do with the keyboard, Abigafarin. And that was to do with, like, uh, PS2 and, uh, like, the PS2 port. What's it What's it called? When you can push more than, like, four keys. It, it also depends where the keys are on the keyboard. Because the keyboard's divided up into, like, multiple zones. Ah, uh, what's it called? It's got a name. I remember specifically buying a keyboard that allowed you to push, like, six keys. Because I used to play... Um, uh, Battlefield 1942 Desert Combat mod and when you fly the helicopters in that you often need to push uh, like yeah end key rollover <laughs> you often have to push multiple keys to uh, to fly the helicopter like you're tapping for that height and then also rotation and then you be then you might have to push another key that's elsewhere on the keyboard and then if you ever use Fruity Loops or audio production and uh, you, you want to do chords using a keyboard, not a music keyboard, but a USB or a computer keyboard. Uh, yeah, you have to, you need more than like six keys. These <laughs> keyboard memories for you guys. Yeah, those were the days. Do you remember when a keyboard used to cost like 70 quid for a shit membrane keyboard? Are we on 100 likes per hour still? If all of you click the like button, uh, you probably go bold like me. So don't do it unless you don't want any hair. But we can uh, we can keep keep 100 likes per hour. Four, we get 400 likes. <laughs> 400 likes in, with two hours. That'd be legendary. Yeah, cherry red is what you... Cherry red or they, there's those cherry blues with the uh, different throw on them. Okay, I think we're going at 7 o'clock. I think this is it. Here we go, guys. Get ready to rumble. <laughs> Hit that like button. Lights on the screen. Oh, my God. T1 bums are fasten your nipples. Go. Got a launch here. Get in there. We want to be on the inside for T1. Absolutely fantastic start. Now, cold tyres, cold brakes, cold car in front. Oh, but carnage in front of us. We'll take advantage of that, though. Get in there! Car on the left. Absolutely pwned it. Car on the right is blocking us off the track there. Om, om rods there just uh, punted us off the circuit. Hopefully we didn't get any damage. A bit cheeky of him. We, we were pretty safe up the inside there. Missed the break point. Around the outside. There's going to be an accident in front of us. Mate. Okay, we'll let him have it. <laughs> that was... Whoever's last on the brakes.
That wasn't optimal. I locked up there. Thought we'd be all right. Hopefully we can catch back up before the, that corner coming up. The, uh, I locked up there. <laughs> straight line. If you lock up in these cars, you just go in a straight line. You can't do anything. Let's get back on the tail here. Smash that like button if you enjoy lock brakes. <laughs> that last corner, I'm surprised it locked up. Maybe because the tyres were cold. <laughs> we sent it. We sent it by air delivery. Unfortunately, it was, the, it was for the next door neighbour. We didn't get a warning though, and we're back on the tail here. Back in there, boys. Forgot to put a stamp on it. Fine by inland revenue. Why do my GT3s? Why use your GTA? Don't know what you mean. Lean on the tyres. <laughs> Carry the speed through. Not bad. Good momentum through that. Thanks, Tebek. That's better. <laughs> no lock up that time. Rival takedown, Mr. We've had Mr. Omarod pushed us off the track earlier. He was just driving defensively, but he's our rival now. Wow. He's trying to drive a bit defensive from the car behind us. We're in the mix here. It's pretty good so far. Five minutes in and we've, uh, we're still in the uh, top group. Emotional. Bit of an interesting line through that. <laughs> has a rear view mirror now it's just ACC uh, well if, unless you value frames got a car off road there rejoined into the side oh contact it's Elliot and Omrod <laughs> Elliot just rejoined into his into the driver's side door Yukon, Yukos, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Appreciate the new sub. Here we go. Can we take advantage of these guys battling away? Look at this guy. Spicy driving. Elliot now. And on Rod. It's not PC, yeah. Right, I'm going to pretend I'm going I'm to go up the inside. Slippy through there. We got the pass in though. It worked out. I had to kind of. I was a bit aggressive on him, but we left. We left enough space. I don't think we contacted him. You, you know, you've got to be able to get enough speed to get the exit to pull away after that corner. It's 
defending the inside line a bit. It's really hard to carry the momentum through that whilst defending the inside line. Go! I'm trying, Mr. Omrod is our rival. Hopefully we can pull away from this car behind us. Another car's gone off road in front. <laughs> Thanks for the bump there. <laughs> he just, he couldn't go anywhere. He's at the limit of the tyres. All he could do is drive into the back of us, which actually works out in my favour. A bit of a bump draft. Got to catch on, Rod, here. What's the gap? Two seconds. Don't get that much draft from these cars. people watching what's happening this is almost like a vaguely successful live stream <laughs> what's going on guys corner shop muscle here oh, oh he's gone whoa 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 whoa! i think this is modem's gone <laughs> car in front's been ddosed reverse entry drift lag lag move oh my god come again two there pro <laughs> drives are all the rage Get in there, come on, close the gap. Lag overtake by Mr. Omrod. <laughs> His modem fell off the table. He's, he's, got, he's using a mobile phone for internet access. I'll never be a professional streamer, don't worry. Roll it in, car behind. Oh God, he's all over the sausage in front. Elliot's putting up a good fight behind us here. I'm going to have to stay on the inside. Thanks for the bump draft, Elliot. <laughs> Elliot's working together with me. Nice driving. Really appreciate that. In return, I'm going to run it wide off the track. <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. No, he had space. He had space. <laughs> I'm too much faster, guys. Sorry, Elliot. Right, here we go. These guys are going to crash in front of us, surely. Ah! Uh, I moved to... Oh, there it is! Yeah! I got through! I rolled over his bonnet! <laughs> Seventh! <laughs> we managed to roll over his bonnet! Next level bonnet bounce! I'm glad I got the exit suspension trouble there. Monster truck wheels paid off. I knew they would. Everyone said, everyone said, monster truck wheels are inappropriate for this type of car. And look what happened. Seventh place, guys. We might have received a little bit of damage after taking the front of that other guy's car off, but you know. All in or, or don't bother. Win or bin. Omrod's gone. She's a DD girl in a DD world. 
Thank you, Pete Jarrim. Oh, no. No, thank you, Pete Jarrim. Jesus Christ. 425 people have been subjected to the number troll now. <laughs> Welcome to the Game of Us YouTube channel where we're proud to bring you numbers. We are in seventh place, though. It's an appropriate number troll. Trump gets break point right. Vigentillion 777, November Decillion 777, Octave Decillion 777, September Decillion 777, Sexton Decillion 777, Watch the views. Watch the viewers all kill themselves. You can't blame them. Marshall's in front of us here. Quick math. That's number one. Seventy-seven, Onillion seven hundred and seventy-seven, Octillion seven hundred and seventy-seven, Septillion. Drove straight over the sausage there. Seventy-seven, Sextillion seven hundred and seventy-seven, Quintillion seven hundred and seventy-seven, Quadrillion seven hundred and seventy-seven, Trillion seven hundred and seventy-seven, Billion seven hundred and seventy-seven, Million seven hundred and seventy-seven, Million seven hundred and seventy-seven thousand seven hundred and seventy-seven. How many? Seven hundred. I know. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I see in flight entertainment whilst we hold off seventh place here. We need a rally car. You're right, I'm breaking probably wood out. Quat you or Vigentillion seven hundred and seventy seven Tres Vigentillion seven hundred and seventy seven Duo Vigentillion. We're pulling out here, we, we kind of found ourselves in a bit of a gap. They're battling away behind us. Look at that. Can't believe we found ourselves in seventh place here, guys. Oh, the cars in front slow down a bit. <laughs> Said eight stuff. Come on. There's a bit of a battle going on in front of us. We are driving gloriously in seventh place here. There's no better position on the racetrack. Oh, Christ Almighty, come on. Hello, Alex Wilson. Oh, that's a good question. By the way, guys, this race has got commentary on it. If you uh, go to VRC, uh, type VRC in YouTube, or the type in VRC Touring Car, you should be able to find this race with commentary. Seventy-seven quadrillion seven hundred and seventy-seven trillion seven hundred and seventy-seven billion seven hundred and seventy-seven. Yeah, they've, million, they promised to give me their car for me. Seventy-seven thousand seven hundred and seventy-seven. Thank you for that donation. Right, Elliot, right behind us here. He's come back for more. It's going to be a bit of a battle for seventh, I think. I was really slow through that. <laughs> oh, no. Will Elliot Bum draft us again? <laughs> Thank God for that. Oh. Be as smooth as possible without banging into the car on the outside. Oh, we're on, the, we're on the inside for T1. That's, that's what we need. Ooh. Thank you for subscribing, Arnold Collado. Appreciate the sub. Ow! Ow! Come on. Come on, man. I left space for him there on the inside. We should have exited that side by side. He purposely uh, drove into us, basically, there. <laughs> right, we've got to get that back. Battle with Elliot now. You know, there, there was space on the inside from there. Yeah, 
Yo, we got our bonds. I'm gonna muscle him back. Mess with the muscle, expect the tussle. There was an Elliot of space there. Carbon sparks. Uh, no, I don't have the tail shell animation. Man, he, he cut the track all over the place. Apparently that's legal. Hello, Marcus Prado. Dropping peace from his bodywork. I don't know. Come on, we've got to get back on him. He's too much faster. <laughs> I'm Mr. Old Ties here. We did get a better exit, though. The thing with this guy is once he starts bouncing, you can't get the power down. One more lap to go after this. I don't know, maybe two because it's the extra. I don't get why that's legal. is the seventh loser. Oh. I should have I should have just like driven into him on the uh, T1. Ah, oh, we're leaning on the tyres there. Please <laughs> deliver that pizza. These are pretty much Pizza Boy cars. Two laps to go. There's a huge gap between us and the cars behind, though. Oh, I think you can see the cars there in front of us. If you punt him, I'd shave my head bold. Hang on, you've not got any air. You can't be shaved red bold when you're already bold. You have to scalp yourself. <laughs> Sausage attack. Well, what often happens in this uh, series is the last lap, there's some accidents, so we might have a bit of spice before this race is over but I'm pretty happy with the uh, 8th place for race 1 ah oh, cut track warning <laughs> of all places to get a cut track warning be on the car when you pass him that's a good tip Billy oh dear a little bit loose there That's just what Billy wants to see on a live stream. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I think AC AC2 will uh, take a while. Oh, guys, check out Billy Strange's uh, review of uh, of Automobile Listed 2. It's a good good little video. Check out his channel if you want to like know the state of Automobile Listed 2. I recommend checking it out. Well, Elliot's just totally cut the track there. So how does that work? I don't know if he lagged across it or typical Game Master stream request. P stream. Stream P. P P he P she P. Wow, well, it's a good solid eighth place for race one here. I will take it. Next race is going to be absolute carnage. Reverse grid. Why do I always have to be in the middle? I'm good. I'm happy with this result. We, we just did a little bit of practice. Eighth is not terrible. Final corner. Seven Lomix. Eight out of twenty. I think this race has been a six point five out of uh, out of ten. Six point eight out of ten. There we go. Eighth place. Oh, we've got to, we've got to stay out. Uh, no, I really want to crump it now. I really, I really need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I can't pee in my car. Three sauces out of a maximum. Well, this is a front-wheel drive car, and I, I can't drive front-wheel drive cars. It don't make sense to me. I need the gas to make the back pop out, not not make it come in. It's all it's all back to front. We should drive this in reverse. It was all right. I'm, I'm up in my pace because I'm terrible in these. Honestly, find uh, Formula cars easier to drive than these. Doing a victory lap. I don't know if I've got the handbrake band in this. No, no handbrake on this car. No car fit this time. Right, get to the pits and then... Uh... Discord, see what I'm saying. Rich, you're a legend, mate. Well done. Both time. <laughs> Hello. Nice racing, guys. Hello. How, how long until the next one? We uh, will be starting um, in about four minutes. Okay, perfect. Good racing, guys. Yes, awesome stuff. 
Bad luck in the next one. Hope you all crash and let me win. Thank you. <laughs> right, there we go. I'm um, uh, two minute toilet break, guys. Back in a second before race two. Reverse grid. Carnage. Smoke the dislike button. How's everyone doing? Ow. No, I had to go. I needed to pee. <laughs> you know, you got to go when you got to go. Like the lawyer in Jurassic Park. Right. Time to make a cup of tea. Wow. Okay, so race two, we have to finish in seventh. Hello, B Sim Racing. B -b 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 Simracing.com. All your sim racing news in one place. Don't just sim race. Be Simracing.com. I am using the uh, Simlab P1X cockpit pole timmer. It's absolutely fantastic. You don't need a cockpit this expensive or this good. Um. Simtech K2 cockpit's the best cheap cockpit that I've used. <laughs> Any T-slot cockpit's awesome. Yeah, guys, check out bsimracing.com for sim racing news. It will make you go... It will make you go... Uh, crazy! Always oh, sim news! Whoa, the news! Whoa, what's happening? It's a sim news! That's, that's what happens when you load up the website. You'll be all right, and then you load the website up, and that happens. Beesimracing.com. Oh, all your sim racing news in one. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> Never do that again. Everyone's now motion sick. That was like that bit in Jaws. Um, no, I was I, I, only uh, Porsche, only the Porsche ones on race room. I'm not high enough profile. I don't, you know, I don't expect to be invited to them. You know, I don't mind. <laughs> I don't feel like betrayed. Hang on, what's going on here? Oh. oh, there we go. Yeah. The way I see it, if I just if I'm invited to something, I really appreciate it. But yeah, we are. Well, my channel is pretty small. <laughs> you have to realise that. Another sleepless night, sleepless in Seattle. Here we go, guys. Race two. Reverse grid. I might have a bagel later. Get ready, lights on the screen here. We want to get seventh, starting in tenth. Go! 
car in front is lagging something crazy. I think he's on mobile internet. Nice. Good, great. Yeah. Nice driving, guys. That's how it's done. Yeah, nice driving. <laughs> well, we're still going. Might have a little bit of damage after that. Bloody hell. Some crazy driving into T1 there. <laughs> Bloody hell. Well, we're in seventh place, guys. We've not lost places. Car. Let's see. Okay. I think we're okay. <laughs> Hello, there's some contender. We might be all right. Don't, it doesn't feel like the, the car seems to be taking corners vaguely normally. We really need to get in front of these cars so that the faster guys, when they're catching us, Hammer! Yeah! That's his hammer T1. Car behind's almost rammed us there. He's lost control! <laughs> He's off! That's Hayden. Millers is now behind us. We need to stay with these guys. Come on. Dakush hammer de sush. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> the true. I mean, even in Formula One, Monza's total carnage. Car behind is going to miss the break point, but hopefully not into us. I need to get more speed off there. So right, it's an English channel. <laughs> Lomma time. <laughs> Throw it in. We're pushing, guys. Maximum attack. We've got to get some more places. Come on. Go! Front wheel drive it! I, it's, on a, it's more that I know the track. <laughs> We're getting there, though. We are dead, 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 dead trigger. We are getting there. I installed NOS in my car as well. That helps. I can't drive Paul Ricard with anything. That's the problem with that. Arda faster hammer. <laughs> We're on the tail of McIntyre. On rod. Oh, it's on rod again. We've got to be on rod. <laughs> on rod smashed us in the last race. It's time for on rod revenge. Ah, oh, what an exit! Yeah, we get, we're getting on rod here. McIntyre. I'm going to make it look like we're going up the left, but we're passing on the right. Woo! We left the door open. We snuck on in like a ninja. On rod's going to have an accident. Surely. Oh, not sure what's happened there. I'll take advantage of it. There's a pile of cars behind us. Where's he? What? Elliot's cheating! Elliot, he missed the corner! What? Okay, Elliot, naughty boy. We're in fifth place, though. Oh, my Jesus. Lots of cars behind us. <laughs> the pussy line. Oh, 
Hulkenberg line. Man, chronic understeer there. Back inside, putting up a fight on our right. to make sure that I didn't understeer into him, but we got one, two places. What a line! Total bobsledded our way through that. Oh, he's pushing him on the grass. It's like a traffic jam. Absolute pap. Look at this, bloody hell. Up to third. Too much faster. Maximum DD gill drive here. I'll put the DD gill in the boot. <laughs> they have missed the break point don't drive into me there he is he drove into me thank you thank you come on guys well i'll give i'll give white white heads I, he, I don't think he missed the break point i think he actually just is faster but the car behind missed the break point <laughs> See if we can keep up with this guy. Put down the oil slick. Out, cut up the arse there. Still held on to it though. Front wheel drive, power out of that. Come on. Yeah, well, he actually he got a good. It was good by Whitehead. It was the other car behind me that was the problem. Whitehead got a nice clean, broke late, got a nice clean entry into there. It's good driving. <laughs> That's not a good line through that. Didn't want to slop it through there before the straight. Oh no, he's on rod again. <laughs> on rod wars. On rod again. Battle of the on rod. <laughs> Whoa, he's lagging as well. That makes that hard. Get ready for crash. Okay. Bit of, bit of banging going on there. I'll be shutting it from behind. <laughs> You've got to be aggressive, though. Otherwise, you, you know. Still all in it. This is uh, TCR wrestling here. Up the in, on the right hand side we go. <laughs> oh my god, this is not going to work out well. Thank you, thank you. He's punting me. Well, we're getting a warning there. He, he punted me off the track, so I couldn't break without going flying. I think that's fine for me to keep going. <laughs> Gain time on the car in front. What a shame. <laughs> and he limits track move. Well, you know, we were punted there. Uh, I think it's acceptable. <laughs> it was a, uh, you know. You know. Bit of a handbag's going on. Nice driving. I think I I think part of it is maybe not that he's aggressive, it's that he's lagging quite a lot. Got got Hayden coming up behind us. 
This race is being monitored. And there is commentary, guys. If you search for the uh, VRC touring car, you can uh, hear what the commentators are saying. <laughs> They might be calling for a... This race is also uh, marshalled as well, so... Ah, the wave in the black flag. Here we go. Come on. You really don't want to hit those curbs. Last race, Hayden punted us off the track, so uh, fasten, fasten up, guys. Install the uh, the weapons. Brick wall of muscle, <laughs> bump draft from Hayden there. Thank you, appreciate it. <laughs> Walled off there. Here he goes up the left hand side. I think he might have just missed the break point to touch. Oh, can we get in his draft? Ah, they're waving the black flag. <laughs> Guys, smash the like button if you enjoy the racing. YouTube a moment there. Oh dear, slow exit. Slop stream. Now, that's just the quality of my average live stream. A motor around the wall of muscle with little boats on it. Piranha. What a power drive through that! Battle with Hayden here, come on. Use all the runoff. Prepare the box and prepare the boiled egg. <laughs> I'm in Kent. I don't say my exact location because I don't like being stalked. <laughs> Interesting line by Mr. Hayden there and there. Apparently that's legal. Fair enough. <laughs> post a uh, post a link. Yeah, he's he's just sent me pizza. Is he never sends me kebabs though? Unfortunately, just pizza. <laughs> Don't think there is a good kebab shop near me. It's a good fish and chip shop. I'm actually based inside of Little Bakery. I'm in Lidl, I'm in Lidl's basement. Come on. The goal was to come better than seventh and we are ahead of that goal still. I'm happy with that. Race isn't over yet. Mm -hmm. 
Oh no! <laughs> One more track cut warning and we're we're in trouble. Ah, the way for the black flag. They say you cut the tree. Okay. Well, we didn't get penalised for it, but that's an interesting line through there. Oh, Jesus, look at that <laughs> convoy of cars behind us there. Can't make a mistake, otherwise we've got four cars in our ass. By the end of this, I'll have learnt Monza in a front-wheel drive car. And then we'll be off to another track. It's what happens on iRacing, you know when you're like practicing a track loads, you learn it, and then and then by the time it get by the time you get really good at it, it moves to the next track and you have to restart all over again. Yellow flags. Don't know if that's through the front or behind. Hey, thanks, Mark. Oh, it's in front. S. Cole. Get in there. Guys, fourth place is back on the cards here. That's a good idea. Yeah, we definitely need to do a community rec fest, Ash. Come on. Throw it in. Close that gap. I'm, I'm up for fourth place. Whoa! Car's behind it catching us. <laughs> but we're catching this car. This might be a close finish to get fourth. We, we, uh, we got it. We got fourth, surely. Remember to pee on him for Billy Strange. He, he's got the nickname Strange for a reason. Oh, he's got damage. That's why. He's got a huge dint in the side of his car. I think his rear left is uh, wobbling a bit. Maybe he hit the wall. So, yeah, we've got to overtake this car without losing time for Tom and Toth, Jones and uh, Marshall. Go oh, on, no, go! Oh, come on! Go, 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 we've got to get the pass without getting the track cut. Oh my god, he's put us right with the cars behind the Tom and Toss Jones is fast. I'm gonna make it look like we're going up the right, we're going up the left though. Get in there, come on. Oh, gonna... oh he's gone full off road. Well we didn't lose too much, that's as best as we could do really. Oh, he's nibbling away at us. Ah. It's Toth Jones. Ow! Bars his way through there. Bloody hell! <laughs> Ah, 
I think that's probably an illegal overtake, but we're going with it. I'm not sure where the track limits are there. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where the track limits are. I don't think you're allowed to drive into the pit lane exit, but, you know, fourth place, guys. It's all that matters. Defend the inside line on this one as well. Come on, you can't just punt your way past. You can't just drive the car on the left. Jesus. We were just removed off the circuit there. It seems with these front-wheel drive cars, if you're on the inside, you can just punt the car on the outside and you don't lose anything. Absolutely denied there. We were removed from the track. So you're better off being on the outside and then punting the car on the inside off the circuit. That's how you drive front wheel. Yeah, we've got to beat Mr. Onrod. We're still actually where we wanted to finish. Two laps to go. Ah, oh, come on. As long as we get taken out by Mr. Onrod here, that'd be a good finish to the race. side so we could just punt him off the track normally I'd defend the inside but I mean I guess he could preemptively punt us off I'm going to stay on the right and just punt him oh he's just punting me <laughs> he just punted me preemptively oh well we're still in front I don't get it I, this is what I don't get with front wheel drive racing it's like, it seems that it's just punting. Well, we're still holding on to this. Sixth place, it's fine. He did. Look at this, Marshall and Charles Jones battling away. Yellow flags up front. Om rom radded, rodded. Wow, oh, and they're going to take each other out in the final corner. Oh, look at that! They're <laughs> door banging to the finish line. Chomp Toth Jones. There we go. Race finish. Sixth place, not bad. First race, eighth, I think. That was all right. We got, we did get punted, but we didn't lose too much from it. So it was good. It was good racing. That's touring card racing for you guys. A little bit of contact. Really appreciate you all tuning in and watching and smashing that like button. We've had uh, amazing viewership tonight. I think everyone's just bored. Tuesday nights, nothing happening. <laughs> Why do I get a five-place penalty? <laughs> What's that for? Five-place penalty. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Izzy. 
<laughs> Do I really have a five place penalty? Wrecked. Traffic jam. I don't know, probably for driving off the track to overtake on the inside, but I got punted off, so. I feel like I drove pretty safe, to be honest. <laughs> Guilty! Whoa! Nice one, Granville. Five base penalty for having no hair. Izzy, do you want to? Uh, do you feel like hosting a server so we can do so we could do like uh, a few races with subs? If you feel like hosting a server, I mean, if not, then no. But these are uh, uh, touring cars. Who in chat wants to do so? Do a sub race. Type type uh, sub race if you want to do some racing in the Seto Corsa. If you want to join in. Fifty <laughs> pound per server. That's that's all right. Somewhere at Paul, you should join in, man. Yeah, look at this subway racing. Let's see what they said in the chat room. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm happy with sixth place. Punt sub race. Yeah, so that was uh, Virtual Reality Racing uh, Club. Race against the pros. We did do some punting, so it wasn't clickbait. <laughs> it wasn't clickbait. We killed a few real drivers there. That's that's all right. We came above the optimal seventh place. Let's see if they're chatting away here. I'm pleased you said that, Jack, if I'm honest, because you, you and Sol, they were rapid. Yeah, I had and, 70 kilos, and I, it felt like yeah. we didn't have any. Yeah, yeah I've so... Got, Thanks for the racing, guys. Yeah, cheers, bud. Yeah, good, good race, mate. That was close. Cheers. I hope I didn't remove anyone's uh, wheels or anything. No, I think I removed yours. <laughs> Which, what, who are you? Second, second she came. <laughs> what, what, what's your name? In, I can't see the names from here. Alex Toth Jones. Oh, Toth Jones. No, my rivalry is Mr. Omrod. Is he there? Where's yeah. Mr. Omrod? Om, um, um, oh, 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 um, uh, Rod. Oh, um, Rod. Um, um, Rod. <laughs> I think All he's I using is... mobile phone internet connection. <laughs> All I know is I went down the outside and gave me a little bit of room. Like, I'm having it. I think <laughs> I, I uh, did a somewhat illegal overtake uh, on the right side down the start finish line and then drove straight across the pit lane exit. I don't know what rules we're following. I think I might have broken them if we are following rules. Yeah, I'll let you have that one. Like this, okay. <laughs> but it's nice driving, guys. Uh, thanks, thanks for uh, thanks for racing me. I'll, I'll catch you guys uh, next week, hopefully. Yeah, See you later. Bye. Right there you go. Yes. Oh my rod! Oh my rod! Said the man that shut the door on his genitalia. Right. So we're gonna do racing with subs now. That was good fun. Uh, I enjoyed that. It, it wasn't. Um, that wasn't a chore like. Uh, <laughs> Paul Ricard, Jesus Christ. How bad was Paul Ricard? Um, I think so, is he? I think that was a separate issue to the Road America. Let's see if we can get that. We'll get that going on. So uh, if you guys want to join with us, well, I think Izzy's setting up a server. Get your ACs booted up. And uh, we'll have a server up, hopefully. How many... we? We've still got 300 people watching. What is going on? The old pandemic thing is practically finished. I don't know where all these viewers are coming from. Uh, 275 likes. 
Whoa! Three hours and four minutes in, guys! In that line button, get us up to 300 and we're, we're... Well, get us up to 305 and we're on 300 likes per hour for three hours. 100 likes per hour for three hours. Come on! And here we go. 200, 200, 276 and 13 dislikes. 276. Can I, can I hit the button? Hit the button. They're going to hit the button. 279, 279. Going, going, going. Going to bid it. 279. And there's 281. And it's moved up to 281. 281 to 13 dislikes. Buying a game of muscle. 285 to the man in the jacket in the corner. <laughs> the man in the pink top with the pink hat. 291 and the lady in the white dress has just bid it 291 296 to the obese man that no he's collapsed he's dead 299 to the posh gentleman in the suit come on surely that's three it, it, oh there it is <laughs> 300 sold to sky star with the one month teapot <laughs> thank you guys well, I'm going to... We, we need four more likes, really, so I can do... Five more likes, I can do 100 likes per hour. And then we're done. Right, let's let's get a uh, next sesh here. But that was good. Check out Virtual Reality Racing Club. As I said, it was nice of them to invite us to this. Um, nice to race with real drivers and make their lives worse. You know, it's one of my hobbies. 3.04. Two more to go and we're on 100 likes per hour. 3.05. We need one more because... Ah, there we go. <laughs> 100 likes per hour maintained. Thank you very much, guys. I don't think like, like click made that much difference on YouTube, but... <laughs> I appreciate the clicking participation. You're all guilty. Right. Game of muscle here. We'll see what we might have to... Someone said there's a new version of Soul. Game of Muscle gets an automatic five-second penalty. Let's see if this works. Porsche RSR. Password is T. Ah, oh, there we go. You guys are poning it. So there's like a really big delay between when you when you uh, compel people to click the like button and when they they reluctantly click it. Let's see if this track works. Uh, I'm guessing no. No. <laughs> what um What version of the track is it? Are are other people getting in? Can you link the uh, track in chat so I can download it? Oh, I have to turn off soul. Okay. Uh, where is it? Custom shaders patch. Is it custom shaders patch or soul? Is there an update to shaders patch? Maybe I can do that. Maybe there's an update to shaders patch that I've not uh, got. I could use uh, version 0.1.61. I'm on 1.52 at the moment. Weird RA version. Let's try. I'm going to try the latest custom shaders patch to see if my computer bursts into flames. Give that a go. Hang on, what's going on here? Oh, jeez. <laughs> just click the wrong thing. Right. Service called Game of Muscle, I think. All right, Pete Jaron. Thanks for your donation and uh, taking part, man. Ah, oh, no. Use one point six. Ah. Oh. No, that's that's not working either. 
Some weird, I don't know why, why I have this problem. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why, it, why with this version of the track specifically I have it, that issue. Maybe I need to just reinstall the track again. Well, who knows, this might not work as well. Or it might. Formula Rim time. Get in the server, guys. Fill it up. Fill her up. Whoa! <laughs> Fortunately, I finished a drink there. Need a sandwich. Yeah. T in capital letters password. Oh, we've got 10, 11 people in here. Nice one. Thanks for setting the server up there, Izzy. Sat a bit high in the car here. <laughs> Let's sit a bit lower. Looks like I'm on the booster seat. We're zooming. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a rocket ship. Turn the volume down a bit. There we go. AC is amazing, guys. Yeah, this version of the track's fantastic. gamepad mate I'm playing with a keyboard this is merely a visual this is a 3d render of a wheel oh I understand there's a wall <laughs> yeah you can pick up AC complete edition for like nine quid oh also Titanfall 2 guys is nine pounds I, I just bought it recently Uh, Titanfall 2 is supposed to be really good. I might live stream the single player of Titanfall on Twitch. Not uh, just get all of the, get all of them. AC's worth owning all the stuff. It's all really good quality. Is anyone in chat going to join that's not joined yet? Give us a shout if you are. Yeah, I saw that, uh, Mr. JDFN. It had like 400 people on it before, and then after the uh, Steam launch, it's now got like 9,000 players. It's crazy. Nice one, Taboo, sir. Downloading the track. Yeah, finding account. He's replacing Vettel. <laughs> Apparently. So the rumour mill says.
The, this newer version of uh, Road America is a little bit trickier to drive. It's a little bit more variation to the corners. Oh, no! <laughs> I was expecting a bit more grip there. get a banker lap in here 13 people in the server how many slots are there is he is it, is it like 40 50 slots I think uh, next time I do a proper AC racing with substream I'll um, I'll announce it before and we'll probably start it at like 3 4 p.m. and uh, we can decide beforehand what tracks we're gonna race so everyone knows That'd be good. I think it might be good to stick to like one or two cars and just do a, a you know, I don't know, go, go through uh, good tracks or something. Especially with with AC on sale now. Modulate the gas through this. Yeah, see on the old track, this right hander is basically flat. Whereas on this one, it's got a bit of undulation to it. And this corner is a lot tighter on this version. I thought the sail was. I thought the sail went on a bit longer. <laughs> Nobody uh, wants to see racing with subs. It's probably uh, we're probably being view botted. <laughs> it's all right. We came uh, eighth and sixth. It's good fun. we go up to third yeah probably it's, it's interesting with the... Uh, it's weird with live streaming how... <laughs> how each game has, like, a different type of audience, even within Sims. So, with, with iRacing, for example, it has a much more passive audience. Like, there's a lot more iRacers that will happily watch and not take part and just watch the stream. And then with, like... AC, it's like people want to actually be doing racing with subscribers normally. You know, actually, the same with ACC. Well, ACC is kind of like a mixture of both. Project Cars 2 had a pretty good passive audience, but a participation audience. Hey, Josh, is Road the new Road America. It's just weird, though, how different, different games have uh, different viewership styles. It seems with um, iRacing and ACC as well, people don't, re they, they enjoy just watching videos of it. Maybe. 
what would it look like if we could play it on a system that wasn't 15,000 years old? I think the uh, the F1 games actually look quite good on console, though. Then again, they don't look that advanced on PC, so. I'm surprised at how popular ACC's got because it's quite a it's quite a limited game, really. There's not that much to it. I think a lot of ACC's popularity is because it's a simulator. <laughs> Yeah, well, if you're just after views, playing console games are the best thing, but views aren't, you know, the most important thing. Uh... <laughs> Too much. No one can run ACC, though. It's like the screenshots look nice. GT3 is not as a race series. I mean, well, it's weird. Like in the UK, it's like very much Formula One. <laughs> and then, yeah, there are like group, there are fans of like BTCC and stuff, but I would say it's very much MotoGP and F1 in terms of, you know, that that's what your average person knows what MotoGP is and they know what F1 is, but yeah. I think the average person knows what, you know, they know what a Porsche and a Ferrari is, so they'll know what, you know, they'll know what those cars are in a GT3 race. But that's about it. T in capital letters. T, 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 capital letters. The real cheese people. Any of you in chat a real cheese person? I'm, I'm more of a... Uh, I mean, Americans are fake cheese people. <laughs> Any French people in chat? Real cheese people? Oh, yeah. Dirt, dirt Rally's awesome. Yeah. Looks nice in VR as well. Can't you buy it for like five pounds now? I mean, even 17 euros is fine. Oh, chilly dog! I thought you'd gone to bed, man. Nice bit of brie. Chilly dog's a French fake, but a, fr a, a fake French person. Guys, we need some faster drivers in here. You can't have me in third place. Halloumi's too salty, I find. They, they use it as like a meat substitute, but to me it's too, it's too salty. Maybe you can get halloumi that's not really salty. Chili <laughs> Dog's Jeff's boyfriend. Right, here we go. has crashed once so far. I've played it for about 10, 15 hours. Do you know why it's crashing? Shouldn't really be crashing. If it keeps crashing, get a refund on it and then buy it in like six months' time for cheaper.
Uh, uh, maybe. Maybe. I mean, that was the version I was running, though. Maybe, maybe try the, the other version. It, it's going to look exactly the same with both direct Xs, so. What's my take on needing a handbrake for rallying, JMP81? Uh, you could just use a button, like the... So, you, the advantage of using, like, an analog handbrake is obviously you get a analog handbrake control, and you don't need to set your brake bias up so far to the rear, and so you can just use the handbrake to basically brake with the rear of the car more. You don't... You can't get away with just a button, to be honest. I, I did for a long time. Um... What I tend to do, if I'm using a button as a handbrake, or like a non-analog handbrake, what I tend to do is get a... Um, I set the car up with a lot of rear brake bias, so the back comes out in the normal brakes. Which is not the fastest way to drive, but it works. It, you know, it's fine. You don't, you don't, you don't need an analog handbrake, but it, it is nice to get you out of certain situations. So, like... Um, when you're going through like prolonged corners and the car's just understeering, it's quite handy with the analog handbrake to just pull it a little bit and like that will nose the back or pull the back of the car out a bit. But yeah, it's a lot of money for something that you only use for rally games. I I'd only bother with analog handbrake if you literally are a huge rally fan. But other than that, it's not worth it. I need a bagel. <laughs> Um, no. ACC only runs at like 70 FPS on my system. Even with the settings tweaked. Weirdly, if I turn the settings up, it goes to like 55, 60. And if I turn them down, it goes up to like 70, 80. But it's not... Yeah, you, you, <laughs> you need like a next gen... Probably need a 30 series top end graphics card, and even then, I doubt it'd run everything at max. Maybe at 1080p it would, but not, not at um, 2440 or whatever I run. Yeah, we're talking about analog handbrakes, though, Stuart, versus just using a button as a handbrake. Um, die Phillips, I don't know. I don't know what you mean by it. Just feels shit. Um, <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that. Right. No, I, ACC is just very heavy. <laughs> you know, it's just how it is. Yeah, you may, maybe your force feedback's clipping. So run the car in the in game car's force feedback, run it at about 70. Use the plus and minus key on the number pad. Right, here we go. Nice. See, I haven't been in AC for ages. This feels awesome. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, you really need, like, the view distance on, like, me. The, the thing with ACC is it's the shadows and the view distance... And the foliage for the trees, which are the most expensive things processing-wise. But if you turn them down, the game looks utter shit. So it's like you have to run it at a certain level for it to look better than AC. It'll get better as it gets optimised more and as PCs get faster. Here we go, guys. Woo! Gromsey, Edward Brewers are in Lomer in front of us. Paul Smith. Paul Smith from Yorkshire. Paul Smith's in behind us. Oh, why? He's got T on dash. Oh, no, he's down pit. Oh, he's gone to pit. 
He's in pit. Oh, no, he's in coal vein and gas self. Uh, Chris M, anyone can join in. You just have to subscribe to the channel, click the like button, and uh, get in before the server fills up. Look at this. Whoa, a bit of a bump, sorry. <laughs> Got a bit of lag from him there. Gromsey in front of us. I didn't, I didn't hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Gromsey. Third place, Edward Brewers is now behind us. Gromsey, Erwin Lommer in first. Nice. Get on the power. Throw that car in. John Hawley, who lives in Crawley. John Hawley, your icon looks like a Disney, a, a Disney teen actor from, from one of those Disney shows. Oh, it's John. Oh, he's a funny fellow, is John. One of those American Disney <laughs> Disney teen shows. Oh no, John's not done his homework. He's in trouble with the teacher. But he's so funny, he found a way out of it. Oh, John. John's doing... Ah, oh, what, what a... What a filthy... G... ACC... Ch complainer. John's been complaining about me a lot. He's been a very naughty boy. <laughs> Paul Smith, what do you mean? I, you were right next to me, Paul. You went coal mining. Oh, there's a plane there. Hello, electrical mama. You can't just give up, Paul. Poor, poor Paul. This isn't Skip Barber, Paul. This is Porsche Barber. <laughs> My brakes. Ah, oh, there you go. Leg laugh got you. Leg laugh sent a public apology, Paul. There you go. Leg laugh had a problem. <laughs> Leg laugh has been found guilty of Paul Smith murder. That's no way to treat fellow streamers and commentators. <laughs> Look at that, you get an apology. You got an apology. You can't be angry now. John Hawley! Smashed us with a donation there. Streamlabs will be what delayed. The behind there the it is, John Hawley on his horse. Necessity for money. <laughs> Thank you, I'm man. Money for Appreciate it. Two dollar dingles. Hang on, are you in America, John? I thought you were in the UK. Why is it why is it in dollars? Oh well. Top notch man, thanks for supporting us and keeping us in the sim rig. Leg laughs too fast for brakes. That video's uh, John Hawley going into T1 on his horse. Fastest way to slow down a horse is on its side. Everyone knows that. We've got 10 minutes here. I've got to close this gap. We've got to get a second place. Oh, nice view. Look at that. It's weird having rifle adverts on a racetrack. Come on, get on the power. <laughs> Wham as jest. Come on. We've got to get Gromsey here. We're coming. Locking up. Go! Woo! Up the inside, I take it. Whoa! Using the grass.
It might do, Stuart, I'm not sure. The uh, free BTCC mod's really good for AC. Oh, you're in Chicago. <laughs> Hi. Welcome from America. Hi, guys. I'm Sean Cole. Welcome to the Sim Pit. No, BTCC. But this is a yellow flags. Oh, God. Pete Owen Lama's poning it. Where's he got this pace from? That's how Disney Channel ass sounds. <laughs> I'm on to you. Oh, locked up the wheels. Come on. I mean, I should be happy with second place, but... I want, I want first. 2.3 second gap. Gromsey Miners, Edward Brewers mind him, Jeremy Ch Chain in fifth place. Hello, Andrew Media, welcome back. Hope you're a good man. Oh, jeez. We need to break sooner. We'll be ragged through that. Two point. I don't think we can close this gap. Oh, we've got seven minutes. Right. Let's just try and drive as smooth as possible. Jeez. stick through there. Edward Brewers coming up the inside who have to defend. Nice overtake by Edward there. Nice and clean. Okay, <laughs> going a bit off-road here. Edward Brewers, <laughs> Edward the Brewer. He's currently uh, brewing some uh, some high-quality uh, craft beer. I don't know, it's, I, I was using it for the race we did earlier because it automatically gives you uh, penalties and stuff. I, I don't know what it's called. Is it P-Tracker? P I don't know. Or AC flags, I'm not sure. There's a lot of people use them for league racing. Smooth. You've got to be really smooth with this car. T in capital letters is a password. There you go. You've got to take a wide line into that.
I'm gonna I'll pop, I'm gonna pop to the bathroom after this race, make a bagel sandwich, and then we'll get back into it. <laughs> need a bagel, need a bagel sandwich. But yeah, that'll give people we love like ten minutes to join the next race at least. Oh, power drive! Come on. Pushing here. We're seven. We're almost a second up on our best lap. No, NASCAR. So NASCAR in America is more like what Formula One is like in the UK. Hello, Tim Bevster. Welcome along. British people are more into football than motorsport. I mean, I'd say a lot of British people are into F1, but that's like a real outlier. Bloody hell. Mo motorbike racing in the UK is kind of like a weird cult. <laughs> There's quite a few people that do follow motorbike racing in the UK, but they're like, it is like a cult of motorcyclists. Hello, Nipper R. You want, you want a runny yoke? Oh no, Gromsey's coming back at us here. <laughs> Gromsy wants to get that podium. Yeah, F1's been getting popular again. I think because of the younger drivers and the... Uh, I, don't, I don't think I do know Mallory Park, no. I might do. I might do, I might not. Ow. Come on, Gromsy. <laughs> That's, that was a Mr. Breakpoint overtake. He let us go back in front, though. I let him off. He was too much faster than us going into that corner. <laughs> Guilty, <laughs> but then he then he served his penalty. He served his uh, time in the jail, so it's okay. his yellow flag for oh no <laughs> comes Gromsey for a second attack Come on, we got to finish on the podium here. We've got to get this back. It's a good overtake by Gromsey. I didn't quite have the break point worked out. Hello, Nicholas English. Middleman Sai. Oh, 
กขบาลขบาลโอ้ยโอ้ยบาลูชอยล์นี่ออกไปให้เราสามารถเข้าไปในประตูก่อนที่จะถึงจุดนี้อ่าทายส์บลัดดี้ทายส์ไม่ได้สติกฉันต้องลิฟต์นั่นชอยล์เข้าไปในประตูก่อนที่จะถึงจุดนี้ฉันต้องลิฟต์นั่น I think our tires are a bit cooked. I tried. <laughs> I tried. It's good driving. Unless we got one more lap, I don't think we do. I think that's it. Yeah, here we go. Fourth. I was good driving though. Whoa! Nice driving. Reverse entry into the corner there. Textbook. Woo! Nice one. It's good. Good race there. Can't go wrong with a bit of AC. Right, I'm going to get a bagel, pop to the loo, and then we're going to another track here. Well done, the finishes in that race. Erwin Lommer pwned it into first. Edward Burrows brewing his beer. <laughs> Second, Gromsey third. We're fourth. Jeremy Chain fifth. Prune sixth. Mix our 38. He's back in the races. Seventh, Adrian R. Eighth. Infinity Fleet. Ninth, Caroline's tenth. Okay, I'll download the track. Right. Good driving, guys. Good fun. Uh, download a bitter. Oh yeah. Guilty. Okay, download the track. Oh. Back in a second, guys. Yeah. I mean, I put I could put the BRB screen on, but it didn't work properly. Let's just put this on here. There you go.
John Hawley's still here, and he's not in Crawley yet. What's going on? Ah, got the bagel. Got beef cheese bagel. You ready for beef cheese bagel, Cam? Oh, come on. Come on. Whoa! HD beef cheese bagel, Cam. Look at that beef cheese bagel, Cam. No beef cheese bagel cam. Imagine if you just load up the stream now to this. You'd be very confused. Okay. Let's install the track. Hungry. Install a bitter. Okay. Is is uh isn't this like a vintage track? Isn't this in love, bro? <laughs> CB. This isn't the one that's... Oh, Kirkby. This isn't the one on t on a hillside, is it? I know there's a motocross track near. Why can't you get on the server? Have you got the track and soul? Mm. Need a bit of Paul Smith in here. Oh, that's weird. Shouldn't be doing that. Kibble Space Program. Paul, are you using Content Manager? Are you using a set of course uh, user interface? Paul's not used to the wonders of... <laughs> 
Ah, Paul. Paul's not used to the wondrous world that is a Seto Corsa uh, Russian takeover. Russia gave up trying to uh, take over America and instead took over a Seto Corsa. Look at the grass. Look at the look at the lake. Yeah, it's worth getting um, Content Manager. Um, it's a lot easier to install tracks and stuff with. It's a lot easier to use. I want another bagel now. <laughs> Starving. Oh, I'm so hungry. So I like golf games, but they're always they put they uh, ruined them. That Tiger Woods golf game, they put like random crap in it, made it impossible to play. I really like. I used to love golf games, and then they started doing dumb crap with it. You know, I just want to play a golf game where you load up, you got nice golf courses. You, 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 do you know what I mean? What happened to golf games? Are there any, hello, Helen R. Are there any good new golf games out? What? <laughs> What's going on with that car? He's back to the future in round the corner. Yeah, I had a good, I had a really good golf game on uh, Atari ST. It was about ten, it was about ten or so years ago. They messed it up. I used to like the um I used to like how the Atari the, the really old school golf games would have like a video animation of the guy taking a swing. She looked pretty good. Be like a sprite. Mortal Kombat style. What is this track? Build base? <laughs> Ferrari? Why? Why is that Ferrari? Is this track from like the 1930s? Oh, this tea's amazing. Cheers, everyone. I should have made two bagels. I'm starving. Right, let's get driving. Oh, look at that. Is this grass uh, part of the new shader patch update? This is this is next to Ashby de la Zouche. I think this is near Loughborough. More more Loughborough way than Ashby way. Yeah, con you can install Content Manager anywhere, Paul. But I'd, I'd recommend putting it in a folder separate. I need to do some more f sodding videos on AC. <laughs> Bloody... I haven't got enough time. Like, oh, I did this... It's normally around about 6pm that I get ideas for making videos. And then... I mean, today I've done, like, two Formula 1 videos. And, well, admittedly, I recorded them yesterday. But yesterday I did, like, a live stream and two videos. I, 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 it, I need to be able to produce like five videos a day. 
That'd be perfect. I have the stamina. Five videos in a five-hour live stream. <laughs> that'd be uh, that'd be pro. Ow, ow. That's oh, probably my fault. Uh, next time they release footage and stuff, Project Cars 3, or if I get a press key or something. Uh, Paul, you, you don't need a degree in programming to make AC work. It's bloody simple. <laughs> it's really, you just, you literally, you download Content Manager. That's it. And then inside of Content Manager, it's got the shader patch and it all updates. And from then on, it updates. And then any time you want to install a new mod track, Content Manager auto downloads it. Or you just drag it in, the zip file. It's honestly, it's not... It literally, it doesn't take any working out. It's literally a 15-minute jobby max. And then you're done. What do you mean it's not worked? <laughs> get, get down, chimney. Get on... Get into content. I don't understand what's, what's working. I mean, iRacing takes more effort to set up than Content Manager. Especially if you're using IRFFB. I don't see a problem. I'll walk you through setting it up if you want. But it honestly is worth having installed. It's not what everyone uses for AC now. It's not like... Uh, it's not like bloody uh, RSRBR. <laughs> where you have to install four different updates in the right order. Oh, he's had enough. Ah, oh, all right, Paul. Have a cup of tea. Have a cup of tea, Paul. There's already videos on how to do it. Have a cup of tea. Climb up chimney. <laughs> Paul was getting frustrated by installing Content Manager. I mean, in fairness, it is annoying. It's first, like, because you don't know where the link is, you know, and you're trying to get in before the race starts. So, you know... But it's better to do it when you're not trying to join something. But it, it, it honestly, it isn't. It's not like RSRBR. <laughs> it's not like RSRBR. And it's well worth doing for AC. But bear in mind, guys, Paul does have a real-world job. It's probably annoying at times, so... How you doing, Wim? B -b 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 Bsimracing.com All your sim racing news in one place. Don't just sim race, be simracing.com No, the thing like it is annoying when you want to join something and everyone's like, get this installed, and then you're like try to do it quickly. It is annoying. Even even if it's not a particularly complicated thing, it's you know, it's like when you're trying to live stream and set up car setups, you know, <laughs> and everyone's like, "Oh, you'll do this, put this on here, put out there, do it some work, get out." What what sort of work? Like real work? Bloody people with jobs. Can we get a ban on people with jobs, please? Only uh, unemployed and furloughed are welcome here. Oh, did you get advertised to on my channel? That's nice. Thank you, YouTube, for advertising money. Get me, get me money there. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean, Kitex, but it's just a thing on the top right you click. Oh, no! <laughs> yes, an employee can stay. Yeah, no. See, sometimes you have, like, specific issues with your computer, or it's just like, yeah. It's always, once you've done something, even if it's a simple thing or a hard thing, it's always easier once you've already done it and makes everything seem easier than it might be innately. We got back to the future. What's going on with this guy? <laughs> What's going on here? Is it exhaust pipes falling off the bottom of his car? 
My mum had a Peugeot that did that. Driving down the high street and the exhaust pipe scraping on the floor. <laughs> Look at that. Marty, we're going back to the future. <laughs> da, 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 da. He's gone. He's got a bit of a problem there. He thinks he's driving an 80s Formula 1 car. <laughs> it's so annoying when you're trying to set up a car and like four different people are trying to give you different setups. One of the people probably knows actual setups. Three of them don't have a bloody clue and are just pulling stuff out of their ass, and another person is trolling. <laughs> it's a nightmare. Whoa! Use the wall. I don't think Peugeot's ever worked properly. Apart from the Peugeot rally cars. Even they, they broke after every stage. We've got someone that's lagging out really bad. You can see the tyres keep flying in the air. Wow, well, you, you you had a, maybe a French and they gave you one that works. No, these socks are top notch, mate. White socks all the way. So you can see my pedals. Oh, Christ, it's the Back to the Future car. Who is it? It's Leg Laugh. <laughs> He's digging up the circuit. <laughs> so stupid. He's cooking my car. It's like he's doing some spot work. Oh, he's gone. He's gone back in time. Oh, dear. he's going to reappear in a 1960s F1 car. <laughs> Leg Laugh, you've gone back to the future, man. Great Scott. Fuel leaking. I think he's building a sim rig in the back of his car. Uh, the AC Mazdas are better than iRacing Mazdas. AC's tyre model's on another level, but the uh, the online system's a lot better in iRacing. So you'll get better racing in iRacing. Why are we just doing a 10-minute race? Oh, it's a small track. Right, here we go, guys. Chris something medical center. <laughs> right, where should we... Uh, what race are we doing after this? Should we do like uh, the, the classic um, Maserati at um, at, at uh, the, the, the Ferrari test track? What's it called? Is it Mugello? Why does iRacing cost so much? Because they have like, um, well, because they they're American and prof they like to profiteer off people. <laughs> um, that that and uh, because people are willing to pay for it. But they do, you know. In fairness, they do have like, you know, there, there are servers they're running, and the tr scan tracks are pretty good. But mostly it's because they're an American corporation that's found a way to exploit people that are willing to pay because they're desperate to drive cars that they can't afford to drive that's that's the main reason if we're, if we're being honest but you could still if you enjoy it and you get the time out of it it's good value for money so oh here we go Lights on the screen, gloves on the hands. Oh man, my team was perfect. Hit the spot. <laughs> Mate, the race hadn't started yet. Robert Good. Go! T Winkles behind us. Robert Good in front of us. <laughs> okay, we've got multiple cars going back to the future. Jesus Christ, there's bits of tarmac flying in the air. <laughs> Look at this. My God! Look at the grass. Look at the look at the dirt. Look at the sun. It's beautiful. Oh, look at the sparks! 
Welcome to Mazda MX-5 1980s Formula 1 racing series. They thought they were struggling to get the viewership, so they put fireworks on the back of the cars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stupid. I don't know, I'm cackling like a witch here. <laughs> Coil of trouble, boil cold and bubble. Through the gap. Let's follow Sparky. T Winkle, your kettle's on fire. <laughs> you boiled it too long. So at least it's a nice sparkle effect, though. I'll give, I'll give him that. It's probably illegal having fireworks on the back of your Mazda. <laughs> don't know. Maybe, maybe he's uh, maybe it's lower fuel or something. I don't know. Yeah, maybe low tire pressure. It's going to look like one of those, uh, in VR, that would look like one of those um, theme park 3D rides where you have balloons in your face and everything. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. I actually... <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I got through that. I was the only car to actually drive that corner properly. And was then the only car to get punted from five different angles. I actually drove right through the middle of them. Uh, that, that MKK, that argument doesn't really work because iRacing hasn't updated a lot of the old content. Whereas ACC, like all the tracks are like really redone really massively and a uh, huge graphical upgrade. You know. I, I would agree with that if they'd updated all the old content as well. But they haven't. And the old content still costs the same price. Whereas AC, you can buy for like nine quid with everything. Yeah, but that's not necessarily a problem because AC, the actual driving in AC is like three times better than iRacing. So, you know. <laughs> and and Neil just doing an amazing job updating the graphics and uh, bits and bobs. So weirdly, it does still get updated. And then obviously we've got Kunos doing ACC, which they're doing a nice job of, I have to say. So, you know, I mean, it's just different. You know, things cost what they cost. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Seventh re-established. That's the, I mean, that's one of the big downsides of, like, Codemasters, for example, buying project cars. It's not even the, it's not even necessarily about the, um, the if you like Codemasters or whatever, it's more that it's always good having multiple people developing different engines. Why am I out of fuel? I, we're fine. We're fine. Plenty of fuel. You get the warning when you've got like four laps left with this. Hey, this, track, this track's not terrible. It's a weird one. Poff, plenty of fuel. Don't worry, we're not Dom GTR ourselves. Keep thinking that's the right hander when it's not. Uh, it, it's all right, Austin plays, but it's not really worth having. I mean, it's the same physics. It's just the, the thing with AC is the biggest selling point of it is all the additional mods, DLC, sim racing system, you know. Yeah, the oval, the oval's good in iRacing, yeah. I mean, as I say, I'm not, I, I still play iRacing. Oh dear. Can't talk about the plague in chat. <laughs> no plague talk, you get banned. It's illegal talk. Woo! That was a bit faster. Oh no. Take it easy. Make sure you rest and make sure you stay rested even when you think you're better because you think you're better and it gets worse again.
took me a month and a half to feel, <laughs> a month and a half, two months to feel better, to feel right. <laughs> After that, fail. Come on. Goes <laughs> from my stream. Yeah, pretty much. I, I, uh, I have Simvid. It's very, it's, it's more dangerous. Yeah, quarantine yourself. It's always good. But yeah, just uh, even when you think you're better, just chill out and do nothing. Despair 19. Uh, geez, it's understeer our us through that, especially on the grass. Bugger me. We need a bit of downforce for that. Yeah, I don't know what those last last curbs are about. They're weirdly set up. Under steer 19. Are oh, these curbs here? No, not these ones. These are all right. I mean, they, they could be modelled a bit better, but... Um, these ones. No. Where are the wonky ass curbs? These ones, what's this about? No, nobody gets your joke, no. Your joke's been banned. This is like the British equivalent of one of those random Swedish circuits. Oh, bump drafted, thank you. Snippy! Uh, no, I'm, I'm happy with these. I mean, I think inverted pedals might be nice, but I'm, I'm happy with how these are, to be honest. I don't... I have used inverted pedals. I think... You can get a little bit better leverage on inverted pedals and the position of them is a little bit more like a road car, but I don't mind not having, not being inverted. I think I'd find inverted pedals better if I'm driving with shoes rather than socks, maybe. Don't know. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Nippy's gone. <laughs> Spinned his car there. Nice one, leg laugh. That's what you get for using Back to the Future techniques. Yeah, we'll do another race. I think we're going to drive the Maserati next. It's an interesting track. I think I need to practice it a bit more. It's got our motorbike start finish line. This long right-hander killed me. It's not the longest right-hander ever. What a line. This has got to be like one of the tightest corners. <laughs> Uh, they banned it. They, they after the Le Mans 55 accident, they banned uh, motorsport for for a few years. They didn't ban it forever. Ah, uh, that didn't work. 
This is a tricky track to push on. Uh, if your pedals are squeaks, uh, WD-40 on the joints um, should fix it from squeaking. Or, or use a spray lubricant instead, like, uh, what's it called? The WD-40 do a lu uh, specific lubricant. There's a couple of spray lubricants you can use. You can use WD-40 to clean it, and then you can spray it with an actual spray lubricant. And that'll stop it squeaking. There we go. Eleventh uh, place. Okay, it's an interesting track. It's interesting. Well done to Erwin Loma, Gromzy, Mixel 38, Marco 2, T Winkle, Nissan Al Aldi, Dalf, Di Phillips, Big Gaul, Infinite Flea, Mogo Mello. Good driving, guys. It's an interesting track. Um I'll give it I'll give it a six point five out of ten. Uh, well, the electronics on the CSL Elite are in a box underneath. You, you can see where they are. Just don't spray it. Don't spray stuff on the electronics. The potentiometers are to the. Don't spray it on the potentiometers either. Spray it on the actual mechanical hinges. No, I'm banned. Banned from doing that. Right, next race. Get in there, guys. I think we're going Maserati here. I might. I might go for the Formula in for this. I'm, I'm, I want to get a good result out of this. This will be the final race, I think. You're not going to get a Q-tip into the joint of a uh, Fanatec pedals. Here we go. MC12 at Mugello. Classic. This is an awesome car track combo. Why can't I join? There we go. Di Phillips, this is... I oh, look at the track. Fantastic view. I like how polished everything is with Content Manager. Look at the little go-kart track at the right of the start-finish line. Righty. Ah, oh, then we, we could stick with the oval rim. So, no, it is a nice flowing track. Look at this, guys. Proper car. I love this this car. Here we go. Uh, no, I didn't do computer science. I did a multimedia degree. <laughs> I did a BTEC national in IT. But I was hardly computer science. That's just really basic stuff. Thanks, everyone, for smashing the like button this evening. Like wheel. Right, here we go. Flying lap coming up. Uh, 
Uh, B Tech National is uh, yeah, it's like um, it's worth like like a uh, entry to a degree sort of thing. It's weird. Like you can a B Tech National. Well, there's different ones, but the one I did was worth the same as like four or five A levels. Uh, Connor Clifford T in capital letters is a server password. So I did, instead of A-levels, I did a B-Tech National, and then I did a degree. But my degree was shit, so. <laughs> All right, night-night. Yeah, well, that's that's the thing with the uh, develop software development. Even everyone I know that did um, programming degrees, they they were doing all the people that were decent and ended up with good jobs after it were doing their own programming outside the degree. It's one of those things where you have to put so much time into it. It, it doesn't it doesn't fit into like a normal degree structure. And then it's like a mixture of, I mean, I get it depends. If you just wanted to do corporate pro, like database program or something, sure, you could do a degree and you could then do that. But, you know, if you wanted to go into games development or um, you're doing your own app development and stuff, it's just so time consuming. Not that other degrees aren't time consuming, but you know what I mean? It's very much like your own thing is going to be more valuable than the actual any degree syllabus. What's entertaining about the thumbnail? <laughs> Just me. <laughs> Need more DD girls on the thumbnails. How you doing, Frank? I can't believe I just drove off road there. I really like the green, uh, Windscreen wiper holder. A bit random. Well, the, the thing is, a degree doesn't innately get you anything, does it? Like, you have to also be someone that fits well within a company or does your own thing, you know. Like I, I, I've known people with multiple degrees, and they're absolutely god-awful at life, so. <laughs> and then there's plenty of people without degrees. And then there's plenty of people where a degree works well for them as a way to get into a job, so... You know. <laughs> well, I mean, in life, I think the biggest skill to have... Oh, dear. The biggest skill to have in life is to be able to plan your own time and teach yourself things, because that means if you can do that, you can basically do anything. <laughs> do you know what I mean? If someone doesn't have to micromanage you and you can problem solve and work out how to problem solve something yourself, well, then that's it. You're like effectively infinitely valuable. If, if you can, uh, well, if you can problem solve, teach yourself how to fix a problem and then you're able to do that whilst also execute the solution to that problem in a reasonable time frame, it's not outside of what a, an actual someone that's already trained to do it could do it in. Then that's it. You 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 can do any job <laughs> that you can do that set of skills in. You have to. You just think of it from a business perspective. It's like someone needs something that get can get done. Can can you do, 
can you actually do it without them having to waste time on you? If you can, well, obviously they want to employ you because they'll make money out of you. Or, or if you can do it for yourself, if you can identify somewhere where you can make money and you can do it yourself, well, then obviously you'll make money. Yeah, I mean, some, some jobs, they don't want you to do that. There are some specific jobs where they just want you to... There's a specific task and a specific routine, and they tell you exactly what to do. So, you know, there's jobs for different skill sets, but... The, the thing is, if, if you know how to teach yourself how to solve anything then it means that you should always be able to find some kind of job. Whereas if you can, if you learn a very specific thing and you don't know how to teach yourself, you have to keep doing courses, which, you know, that might be just how you learn, then you're always going to have to do a new, an actual course or something to, to learn those new skills, which could be quite time consuming. Thank you. Yeah, the pricing of degrees is mental. I'm not... <laughs> Milking bulls. Well, you know... If you get hungry, <laughs> if you're desperate... Yeah, I mean, I don't get the pricing of degrees. It doesn't make sense. Because I, I, I think there's... You know, the, the thing is, if you're like 18 and you're going to university, it's a really good time to learn basic life skills and independence and it's like well you should be able to do that without having to go bankrupt or have to also do a crazy degree it should be like you know you're paying for rent and then really you shouldn't have to pay for it unless it's a special totally specialized degree it should it should be just part of the basic educational system hello mike <laughs> i think the net goes not that bad but it's not amazing either Midlife crisis. Recent. Well, you're on about the pit stop thing. We talked about that earlier. Don't know if there's other Project Cars 3 news. We'll see what we'll play Project Cars 3 when it when it comes out or when I get a press key. And uh, what's, what's going on with this guy's car? <laughs> wheels, wheels keep jumping. All right, no, no, Jack de Plesis, Thanks for joining in. get a final decent lap in here come on right we've got enough time to do two more laps We've got another Back to the Future car here. <laughs> this Maybe I need to update my shader patch. I think there's a, a bug. <laughs> back to the Future bug. I need to go back to an older version. Sparks coming out the roof. <laughs> so it's just someone smoking a joint in a race car. You know, it happens all the time.
Oh, we're going to get one flying lap with this. Let's get a bit of a gap. Let's get a bit of air. Right, here we go. Pole position lap, yeah? <laughs> Easy. You don't have enough time to do a lap. Get out of the way. Thank you. Oh, I'm getting slower. I don't know why we couldn't. I think my tyres are gone. That wasn't working. <laughs> we tried. Computer says no. I might keep the traction control on like three. About schools, I didn't have a, co a conventional education. Never actually set foot in a school. What my parents did was teach me how to learn. Well, there you go. That's what you need, isn't it? That's what school should be teaching. Middle Kaduk. Wow. Well, I mean, they did. They went to ACC uh, Unreal Engine. Look at the car rolling down the start finish line there. They went to the ACC uh, Unreal Engine because it specifically allows you to do all those features. Like most people want, but you know, it's a good thing to have in a sim in the long in the long run. But you know. What compact? Uh, I was doing it on the medium. Because the soft slicks are like crazy with this car. They're difficult. They go off after one lap. I think the mediums are generally better tyres with this. How <laughs> to spend on your weekly shop. Uh, that would be a mixture of softs and medium. You can set really fast laps on the soft, but you have to do it in one lap, and you also have to drive totally different. It's like that. It's like the F2004. They just the soft tyres are like mental. They, they you have to drive in a very specific way. So I, I prefer to just practice with the mediums and then do the race in the mediums. You have a short term memory. Yeah, Codemasters bought SMS. So they have the game engine. Then, then Project Cars 3 was in development before Codemasters bought it. So Project Cars 3 is what SMS probably would have done regardless. Well, we'll, we'll do a Automobilista 2 uh, racing with Substream soon. I missed the launch of the game because I was too busy uh, doing stuff with family and DIYing. Right. Final race of this evening, guys. So smash that like button if you've enjoyed yourselves. Um, actually, I enjoyed the front-wheel drive racing, which is a miracle because I normally hate front-wheel drive. But it's nice close driving. And uh, we've got some nice racing here on uh, Izzy's servers. Kitex, don't forget how people say MS2 will never get sticky walls fixed. Yeah, they'll they'll keep fixing stuff. I, that's the thing is, um, I think people confuse how much uh, is to do with engine and how much is to do with development time. And Reza will just keep developing it for years, so that's why I think Girls Mobile Two will just it will just keep deviating from Project Cars Two state, you know, it's, and that's what it has done. This will keep doing that, right?
Hello, Nathan Scoward. Morning. It's it's not even morning here. It's still night time, man. <laughs> yeah, they probably should have wait. They probably should have waited another three months for one point now. I mean, what's the rush? With something like Automobilista, they don't need to rush out. Here we go, guys. I forgot about that. Got a clutch, clutch slip the start. <laughs> We've got managed to recover it pretty quick, though. Look at that launch. Oh, come on. Just rear ended me. And again. Can we restart the race? <laughs> Just being rear ended there. Restart. Bloody hell. Someone locked up the brakes and it drove into us there. Restart. If possible. Ah, uh, no restart. Wow. T1, guys. Ah, uh, okay. I'll restart it. I'm not going to be able to see it. The admin password is going to be something bloody long, isn't it? Oh, Jesus Christ. What is it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. He, he, admin password is like the... It's like a bank password. Right, there we go. Yeah, it is if you can spell. <laughs> Here we go. Right, use your brakes, guys. Pro tip. Always use your brakes. Uh, world movement. Maybe move world movement to 100, Paul Keeble. But yeah, the car's suspension is quite bouncy in all um, Madness Engine games. I don't know why. It's just how it is. Here we go. Clutch slip it. Not bad. <laughs> I wish drivers don't know about the clutch hacks. I just pinned someone there. I mean, you know, I didn't. I didn't do it on purpose. I think I just tapped him a tiny bit. Coming through. We're on it. Owen Lom is in front of us. Connor Clifford, Edward Booers at the Brewers. Why'd you say that, Fort Massman? I, I've never had a problem with Jimmer. It's all right. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Edward's gone. You have a motion sim. <laughs> Bouncing through the track in Project Cars 2 and AMS 2. I really want to get like a D Box system. Do you reckon if I email D Box? <laughs> Hello, D Box. Could uh, you please send me a £20,000 worth of motion rig, please? No, I don't. I don't. Uh... 
I don't like gaming YouTubers <laughs> normally. Normally find them really annoying. But sim YouTubers are normally not too bad, to be honest. But uh, I just don't watch the stuff because I don't want to not do something because they've done it, if you know what I mean. Ah, witchy foot. <laughs> Are in third place here. Erwin Lommers in second. Mixel 38's up front. This is beast, isn't it? D Box just reduced the price of their uh, motion. I mean, the nice thing with D Box, from my experience of. I mean, I've used D Box solutions on other people's rigs. The nice thing with it is that it's very simply supported out of the box. YouTubers are mostly me tubers. <laughs> I was just like, well, you know, I, I, unless I have at least 50 people watching me, I, I, I get depressed. <laughs> I have to have people watching me in a sim rig, you know. It is weird that. Like, I wouldn't. It, yeah, it's strange, like the attention thing with YouTube. I mean, the thing is, though, you have to realise, like, unless you're a music artist, or, do you know what I mean? Unless you you produce something, even then, if you're like a, a say you're a pop artist, you'd have to realise that people aren't watching because they like, or listening because they like you <laughs> as a person. They like the stuff you're producing. But is it even, like, for gamer YouTube channels, it's, like, not because they like you... It's because people enjoy the games primarily and then they enjoy like the, the community and the the general content. But I definitely, I think you get it more with actors than you do YouTubers. But people doing stuff because they, they're maybe like, they want it to be like them, a recognition of them as a person. But like, oh, you can't ever know an actor or a musician personally. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Unless you like actually were actual friends with them or something. Do you know what I mean? Even then, every person you know is going to be d different. I don't know how much time you spend with them, what you do with them. Yeah, no, I mean that applies to everyone though. It's not, it's not a Jimmy thing, is it? It's, um, I know what you mean. Like you see it online, people will be like following what ex-youtubers you know like oh did you see they'll be like oh did you see what this person did or this person says that it's like well who gives a shit <laughs> it's like if what they did was entertaining to watch so it's like oh did you see chemical brothers latest song yeah that's relevant because you might like chemical brothers latest song because you probably enjoy music but you don't... Who gives a shit what the Chemical Brothers have had for breakfast or what car they've bought or... <laughs> People obviously do, though. People do like that kind of stuff. They do get into that. But, I mean, I personally, that's not for me. Like... Yeah, it's weird. You do get, like, weird worshipping. Yeah, Chemical Brothers are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get enough Chemical Brothers. They haven't produced any... Well, the last one they did was quite good, but is it, it's a shame that like, they, they didn't... It's a bit short. A lot of Chemical Brothers music kind of fits together nicely as like a whole sort of set rather than individual songs. <laughs> Look, if you don't like Chemical Brothers, there's got to be something wrong with you because they're pretty, like, mainstream when it comes to dance music. What did I have for breakfast? A banana. <laughs> I had a banana and I went to Lidl's. That's why I have for breakfast a banana. I'm not. You know, it's not that personality doesn't matter. So there's personality of like a streamer. I mean, personally, I, I like I like Super GT's personality because it's like dry wit. I, I prefer. I, that's my sort of taste. There's 
Personality of the streamer, you'll watch people watching the stream because they enjoy the personality of the streamer they're watching. That's fine. That's totally different to messaging on like Reddit to be like, oh, guys, did you see Game of Muscle just got um, a new monitor? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Who cares? As opposed to, oh, did you see that review that Game of Muscle put out? That monitor looks really good and the review was nicely edited. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's a difference there. Whoa! Can I? Am I? Can I be a hyper tuber? <laughs> hyper tube sounds like some science fiction transport. French French science fiction. Hyper hyper tube. <laughs> But that's why that's why I say like for me that's why I quite like Super GT's content because I find he does this he's fast he does the racing and his commentary is not exaggerated when he does stuff you know what I mean it's like just just chill it's not over the top but then again you know so people like different things so here we're all about the tea drinking <laughs> oh I hate Chris Hay Chris Hay and his, and his bloody editing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Put Chris Hay, Burn him. Burn him on the stake, guys. Now, he's all right. He's all right. I, I give Chris... He does talk too close to his microphone. <laughs> bloody Chris Hay and his microphone. If, he, if Chris Hay moves his microphone a bit further away, then, uh, then uh, I'll, that's my critique over of Chris Hay. But he's all right. He's pretty sound. I mean, I see, like, all these people in real life are, are sound, like, or seem sound. I mean, they could be murderers. I, I just, uh... Billy Strange is the only deep microphone voice I, I accept. I want to have a, I want to have an MC battle with Chris Hay. <laughs> Boy, Bumwinkle, here we go. I think we could have an MC rap battle with Chris Hay. It'd be all right. Chris Hay versus Sean Cole and Game of Muscle. I know, I, I like his video editing. I'm up for that. It's, it's not. I don't like it when people put the microphone too close to their mouth. They do it in podcasts. Well. I've, there's loads of podcasts whose content I'd love to listen to, but I can hear all the saliva in the mouth. <laughs> I, I can't be dealing with that. I mean, in fairness, if if Chris Hay was like a hot lady, I would I would probably be all right with it. But like, I just don't want to hear men's vocal saliva. <laughs> you know. Wow! Side by side with Joss here, stealing the podium off me. Whoa! In the. The best, the uh, I think, I think people are too complimentary to, to Chris Hay's voice. Everyone knows the real, the best voice in sim racing is Barry. Let's be real. And Barry like takes everything apart. I, I think Chris Hay's getting too much credit. We need to swap that credit over to Barry. Barry Rowland. He gets a lot. Barry Rowland does get a lot of credit, but it's not on his microphone placement. You know. I think if you, if you put Barry Rowland's microphone on Chris Hay, everyone would be happy. That's all I'm saying. Or you can get Billy Strange to to get everyone, to set up everyone's sound. That's all right. 
<laughs> Billy Strange's uh, last um, AM uh, Automobilist 2 video was nicely done. Nicely like presented, like like nicely paced. It's good, good video. Have I updated Windows? I don't know. I I'm always running the latest version of Windows. <laughs> Singer. Well, you know, you can't you can't be the best at everything, can you? I do think with the sim racing YouTubers, it would be nice to have a bit more variation. Like, there are a lot of people doing the same thing. I think that's a, that's a shame. Because I, I think there's other more creative stuff that could be done. I mean, you see it with all... It's not just sim racing. It's like... You have a lot of people just doing exactly the same content. It's like, why bother? I mean, I guess if, you, if they're enjoying it, fine. Just do it if you enjoy it. That's that's perfectly fine. What's nothing really? I mean, I don't know. Nothing. I mean, the thing is, Sims are quite limited in what you can do with them. To be honest, I think I think um, there's a good opportunity for someone to take the format of like the but you know like the popular vlog channel type stuff and put that into a sim racing context and I think they could you could get a lot of views and have a successful channel doing that I mean the problem it's hard with sim racing stuff because it's not the most popular thing if you put a lot of effort into it it, it probably won't get a lot of views and you could and also a lot of sim racers don't understand real world driving and physics and what's you know what's good or bad and it's hard to convey it so, you know, you, you could literally do a sim racing video that explains things very clearly and people won't notice the difference between someone just screaming. <laughs> so. And then also there's a the thing of like, if you, uh, <laughs> if you like... If you're doing YouTube full time, you have to get quite a lot of content out to like, you know, build the subscribers and keep the views coming in. I mean, you could do like, uh, you know, hardware reviews all the time, but they take longer to edit, and a lot of the time you don't necessarily get lots of views on them. So yeah, it's hard to get the balance right. I think with YouTube for, for sim racing. And then you've got like the streaming as well as the YouTube. <laughs> it's all over the place. <laughs> Fork Massman, thank you. I I'll do a private Fork Massman stream. If I ever get to 300,000 subs, I'll do, I'll do a private Fork Massman stream. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Tough, tough. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm like really happy with how things are. I'm more talking about from the perspective of someone starting off now. Ben Locken, thank you for su subscribing there. <laughs> please, please no. No private stream. <laughs> Reverse entry. No, cook ties. Oh, bugging my nipples. No! Final lap as well. It's because the tyres, this is where the tyres go. Bloody. No, 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 I'm still at the inside. Go, 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 go. <laughs> His tyres are gone as well. Uh, it's different, Edward, because um, you have like channel members, random donations on live streams. I, I mostly do live streaming because I enjoy it. <laughs> you know. Oh, bowling with uh, bowling. Also, f f 
I feel like if you're going to review something, you have to put the time into it to actually review it properly. Otherwise, you know, it's not going to be a proper review, is it? So I tend to live stream with the kit and stuff that I then later review. This is the soothing voice that keeps bringing me here. <laughs> 360 no scope voice. Oh, dear. Well, we still got fifth place there. Mixel 38 with the win. What a laser beam. Ban him. We kick him from the kick him from the server. <laughs> Mix out 38 with the win. Erwin Loma second. Josh third. Grobsy fourth. We're fifth. T Winkle sixth. Miguel Mello seventh. Prun eighth. Dr. McGarry ninth. Robert Good tenth. I'm trying to kick Mix out 38. <laughs> so I get so we get a place. Ah. The whole world became a DJ. Now, now that everyone wants to be a streamer, I, uh, yeah, I don't know if like being a streamer is good. Like, I think being a YouTuber is probably better than being a live streamer. Like, YouTube's a lot easier, I think, than live streaming. I think live streaming is more fun. But yeah, it's weird. I think. You well, it depends what you're doing on YouTube, though. Like, if you're doing elaborate edited videos, that's not easier. Fort Massman, don't care too much, but when I see the rubbish to be brought in channel, I just want to pick. <laughs> that's a bit harsh. But, I mean, you don't have to watch it. You don't have to watch it. I mean, by all means, take the piss out of everyone. I expect people to take the piss out of me. You know, I'm sure, you know, when when Jimmy does his 10,000th can I beat this Formula One driver's time in a game that's nothing like real-world driving, you know, he, he will know. He's, it's just fun for him. He's, you know, it's an entertaining video. He's not really, you know, if he's enjoying it, that's all that matters. He's making money from it. And then uh, if he enjoys it, viewers enjoy it. The nice thing with YouTube is it's, you really can't ignore it. Well... You do get the bloody thumbnails all the time, but you you can can you you can't mute channels, can you? But if you're not subscribed to them, it's not too bad. <laughs> it's just like there's a, for this like underlying anger towards Jimmy's community. I don't mind. I've never had a problem with him or his community, to be honest. Because I I I've just never had any issues. But then I'm not involved in it, so Jimmy's always been really chill to me, you know. I think Jimmy also, he tries to support other channels where possible, you know, promote people and try and get them into stuff. So, you know. A good stream is entertaining, but that's like 1 in 20. Ah, oh, you enjoy... Oh, look at this. B-Sim Racing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Go to B-Sim Racing. I'm, I'm jealous. Uh, what, of, of Jimmy... Uh, I, I, mean, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't turn down making more money <laughs> I'm not I wouldn't say I'm jealous of uh no I don't I don't feel jealous of of Jimmy I mean I hate him <laughs> no I, I I don't no I wouldn't say I'm jealous I think who, who would I be jealous of I'm normally like it'd be more like envious, but I'm I'm envious of like science channels, to be honest. I mean, cause sim like let's be real, sim racing YouTube, it's not like the most important. <laughs> it's not like important. Like I'd be envious of so, you know someone's built like a, a an educational science channel and they produce really clear content. Like I'm too thick for it. But if you know, if you produce educational content that's a entertaining, b properly edu uh, e um, educational, and it, like informative, I'm jealous of people that can do that consistently with like nice uh, editing and everything. I'm, that's more envious though than jealous. Like I, I, I'm not really, I'm not really jealous of sim racing channels because it's I, I. I'm making a living. <laughs> like, I, I think I'd be jealous of if I wasn't making enough money to make a living. I would be jealous. I'd probably be envious more than jealous, though. Like, I normally get more envious than I do. Jet, like, I don't. I don't think I'd get particularly jealous. I. It's more. It's more like envious than jealous than jealousy. I don't know if like. 
I don't know where you, where do you draw the draw the line between jealousy and and envy? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, well, there you go. So that's a perfect example. That's a perfect example. So if you do like what CB said, if you do photography, right? And I, this is what I used to do a lot of creative stuff early on. And so I use if you do photography, you will see other photographers work. I so yeah, that probably is jealousy. Like when you see another photographer's work and you know that you can execute something similar, but you don't have the ability to travel or the resources mm. to do that kind of work. I've been, I'm jealous of that or was in the past. I you know, I'd see someone's like they've got like an epic fo photographs from China or something. And it's like, well, I couldn't afford to go there to do that, to have that opportunity to take those pictures. And, and it's like, obviously, you, you can be more creative with what's available to you, and that's harder, and that's that's creatively more rewarding. But that, yeah, I I was when I was doing photography, I was jealous of that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, and I, it, once once you've got enough income from something, it's not really. I, I'm not ranting. We're just talking about stuff. I really enjoy photography now. I don't know where you where you draw the uh, draw the line between jealousy and envy. Oh, yeah, I think you'd be jealous when uh, if you fancy a girl and she and uh, she's with a guy that are not with you. Then that's that's jealousy is probably fine. That's not envy. You, you're like, ah, oh, you bastard. <laughs> that that's jealousy. Yeah, I don't feel that. I'm not that way with. Uh, with YouTube channels, it's like if you're look if anyone if anyone's making a living off YouTube, then you bloody should be happy with it. You know, <laughs> like I can, you that's way more than what you could possibly want from anything. <laughs> Shit, it's close to home. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking relationship bollocks. I think all is so. Here we go. What's going on? Crushes are a bunch of... What's this? I don't know what's happening there. I think letting your ego run unchecked is one of the worst things you can do. Yeah, well, you know. I think, again, even if you've got... Like, I've probably got a bit of an ego. But, again, if you're making a living off YouTube, that's enough to, like, satisfy your ego, surely. Um, You know. What more could you want from something? Like, this is what I don't get with you. Like, I think anyone can complain... For sure, like anyone, even if you're like a millionaire Hollywood star, whatever, you know, you just got, you're doing something and you're enjoying making lots of money from it. Everyone could complain. That's normal. But genuinely, genuinely, if you make, you know, if you're making enough to survive doing what you enjoy, then compared to someone else that's doing something they don't enjoy just to pay bills, you know. <laughs> you have to have, ah, oh, Izzy's trying to end the stream. You have to have somewhat of an ego, just not any... Well, my, uh, mine's uh, blimp, blimp ego. F fear of losing something you already have. I don't I don't know. I, I don't think that's jealousy. I think that's something else. I don't know who Sophia f f Flourish. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Who's Sophia Flourish? Is this like some hot model? Ah, oh, that's that. Thank you, TB. What about the Conservatives delaying the Corona response? <laughs> what a troll! You can't say those words. You get banned. The driver who flew at Macau. All oh, right, I don't. I don't know her. I remember. I've seen the crash, but I don't know her. That was a mental crash. I mean, if you're going to crash, you might as well do it like that. You might as well go all in. If you're going to have a crash and walk away from it, Mark Webber it. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know what we're going to stream tomorrow. Um, it's going to be... Uh, I probably... Um, probably do... Um, Automobiles to two, maybe. <laughs> Dead. Gas was dying for his play. I don't like streaming rally games because I'm tired after two stages. That's me. I'm, I, I can't. If I was doing a rally stream, I could only do like two hours of it and then I'm brain dead. <laughs> Mario Kart. Yeah, me, 
AMS2 fanboy denial stream. Uh, street Fighter. Stream vacuuming. Well, Titanfall 2. Hello, Nathan. What are you doing up at this time? Go to bed, man. We're just finishing off, Nathan. There you go, guys. You can all funnel your uh, Project Cars 3 anger at Nathan Bell. <laughs> the uh, developers always get pummeled when they come in the chat room. How about AMS 1 stream? I, I don't play that. Yeah, we're just finishing off. Bedtime. Wow. I, I've got to sort some stuff out and then bedtime. You could always crash aeroplanes into British racetracks. Normally, uh, when you play flight sims, especially if a flight sim developer is giving you a flight sim, uh, you know, you're playing it and you've been given early access, they normally frown upon you flying into stuff. It's kind of like a flight sim. They don't like it in the flight sim scene. It's like if you go to a flight sim live streamer, and uh, and you uh, and you mention that the plane's been hijacked. They get really upset because every single live stream, people say the same thing. He he throws confirmed. Yeah, we might do some CS:GO tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Three. Well, I hope not. I hope I'll, I may put my sleep then. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Probably AMS 2 then, tomorrow evening. Unless anything else is happening. Only iRacing 8. Uh, no, no questions right now. Well, I'm, I'm wait, we're waiting and seeing, Nathan. I'm excited to get my hands on it. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, new, I'm in neutral land. I racing it is for tomorrow. Squawk seven five hundred. I watched that film uh, uh, with what's his face. Um, <laughs> is this shit? <laughs> Great. Ah, uh, hang on. I don't know why that's there. You go. Early access. Nathan Bell's giving early access codes for everyone. <laughs> Gasper. Gasper's very diplomatic. Gasper's the uh, Donald Trump of press press reporters. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I, I mean, I think we're done. I think we're finishing it off for today. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. I'll let I'll I'll give an announcement for the stream tomorrow. If we do stream AMS two, probably be at like four pm or something. Might do ACC though. What do you guys think in chat? ACC or AMS two? The Donald Trump of all the chat. That's not something to be proud of. Type, type uh, ACC or AMS2, guys. Everyone's going to say ACC. You're all bloody ACC fanboys. Oh, CB's AMS2. Oh, jeez. Well, that's the uh, I racing. Oh, Christ. Gee, like, people want ACC. The GT3, uh, GT4 cars aren't out until the 15th. Put it cars 4. Uh, pe uh, people want to do ACC. Maybe we'll do ACC then. It's, it's weird. Like There's different crowd of people that like Automobilista 2 and like ACC. Separate people. Brainwash them all. Well, the, I think the thing with ACC GTR Legends, I think the the thing with ACC is that you can have a load of people in a server and go from race to race. You know, it, it works nicely. It's convenient for live streaming. Well, we'll see. AMS always has 50 strong fan base. <laughs> Microprose Pro's GT, GP1. Nigel Mansell's Grand Prix on the Atari ST. Okay, we'll do, we'll do some CS... Maybe I can... Right, I might stream some CSGO in the day. Maybe do like one or two games. I'll stream it... Well, I could stream it on this channel, actually. Just say out loud that your bald head is better than Nathan Bell's and I'll be able to sleep. <laughs> 
My, I've got more, I've got more of a bald edge. You still got a bit of hair. Although my is I need to shave it tonight. We we're getting like it looks like I've got a hair tattoo. Jimmy doesn't know how to play first person shoot. His his, his hands evolved into a four speed back wheel. From all his endurance racing, he can't actually move his wrists. He can only drive cars. That's that's what's happened to him. But yeah, guys, I'm, I'm going to call it a night here because I need to get ready for bed. I did have a good stream, thanks. Yeah, no, it's nice. Uh, we had some really good racing. Be smashed into some pros. VRC all the way. Uh, that was good. Sixth and uh, eighth. And uh, this service thanks to Izzy and ACC. Uh, AC, we're good. Might do ACC tomorrow. We'll see. But look out for CSGO in the day. Look out for ACC in the evening. Thank you guys for taking part. Go to the credits. Thanks for donations. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for clicking the like button. Credits. Oh, Jesus. I sold more stuff. Yeah, definitely buy. If you haven't got AC, buy the uh, packs now before the Steam sale ends. Th thanks, Izzy. <laughs> Izzy was waiting. That's why I wanted this to end. He was sat there just waiting for the time to push it. Great, great, Izzy. Thank you for donating, Pete, Jaram, and Karen. Thank you for the super chats. John Hawley, who doesn't live in Crawley. Thank you for subscribing. Listener, Listerine Killer, Yux Gamer, Dark Plays, Brain Keith, Flifto, Rafael Cosa, Ed Dikos, Arnold Collado, Ben Locken, Swifty, Sonzu. I don't know, why is it not playing the donation? What is the motive behind this demand? Necessity. <laughs> Necessity for money. <laughs> I'm not supplying money for necessities. Penis. There you go. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks, Izzy. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow.